Wubba lubba dub dub, and welcome to the Lost Dungeon of Rickiness with the big Rick energy. You might know me from uh, such shows as Rick and Morty because I'm Rick, Rick Sanchez, and I'm here to tell you about this new adventure that we're going to be taking my family on because I, I'm required by law to, to have therapy with them at least once a month. So this is what we're doing this week. All right, it's going to be, uh, it's probably, it's going to be fine. So, uh, welcome so much. You might n know this stream as D4. Well, I traveled interdimensionally and commandeered their room for me <laughs> and my purposes, which are way more important than theirs. Uh, no nobody cares about what the hell they're doing at some li liar's day. Who cares what it is? What's important is that now you're here with us, and, and we're going to show you a good time. And before we show you a good time, we're going to show you all the people we've sold out to. So let's hear from our sponsors. All right. Well, hello, fellow rollers. All um, right, we're done with Jerry. All right. I, <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Okay. Just get it over with. There are important things to talk about, and I'm going to talk about them. All right, okay. Get out of the way, Jerry. We're all waiting. D, which stands for dungeons, oh, God. and the other D, which stands for dragons, uh -huh. beyond fine programming people, are coming out with Eberron, rising from the lo lost last war, last war, lost oh, last. Oh God, I'm screwing it up. That's great, oh, Dad. God. Um, somebody go to somebody else. Go to somebody else. Oh my god, my dad is a failure. <gasps> Don't say it on a live stream or on television! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're on something, alright. Interdimensional dad, television. Dad, get a job! Home, well, speaking of Eberron's rising from the last war, the gold oh. box will be coming out soon from Beetle and Grimm's Pandemonium Warehouse in early 2020. I'm Meatface. I'm their spokesman. Meatface. Yes, Meatface. I'm so glad you're here. We're, we're all it's really good to see you, Jerry. You know, it's yeah. Meatface. I know that you're pretty busy, yeah. Meatface, so it's really nice for you to make it out for another family outing. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for Yeah, coming. it's glad to have you meet. I love you, Morty. Face. <laughs> so, anyways, our Avernus boxes are actually out shipping now, so stay tuned and just look for that. It's going to be coming to your house. Uh, and if you want to see Rock Punch's unboxing, where uh, some two idiots are going through a box of items. And check that out at Rock Punch on YouTube. And then also Wormwood was a dream hack Atlanta this past weekend. It was a blast. Uh, we had Chris Gates join us on the stream for playing Time Stories. You can check that out. Find their streaming there. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's me. It's good, good still, still to have you in your face. Just want to say, really nice of you to make it out. Definitely a, an established character in Rick and Morty, and we're very glad to have you. No, so, you're a busy man, Meat Face. And, and, and making the time for us important. So... Mm. You think you've got some fancy miniatures in your tabletop? Well, la-dee-da. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. My miniatures are better than yours, and I can prove it mathematically. All right? But since that would take all night, and presumably we want to watch these uh, five fight for their lives in my awesome dungeon, where if they die, they die in real life, you'll just have to take my word that Eldritch Foundry is the highest definition miniatures you've ever seen. So lifelike, in fact, that I've had... Um, excuse me, we die? That I've had I I a couple, don't interrupt me, Summer. Uh, that I'm pretty sure Shape Sisters from Dimension Quignon X5. And I'm not gonna tell you, that's real damn lifelike. Uh, they are up and coming customizable 3D miniatures company that prints your dream mini in extremely high detail. They have officially launched their website and are releasing their first content package this week that includes their Warforged or Wargast race. This package is being released in correlation with the Ebron book that releases Tuesday. There will also be more items, clothing, and weapons dropping with that package. So use that code D4STREAM for a 10% off. That's D, the number four stream. All right, Morty, it's you. Oh, geez. Okay. <clears throat> um, hi, everyone. I'm <clears throat> Morty. Well, I know. We, we know. Inter I introduced you as Morty, Morty. They know. All right, just get to the point. Oh, Jeez. okay. All right. Anyways, um, so uh, these people called Rock Punch, they don't actually punch rocks. So, like, don't look them up if that's the content you're looking for. Um, so they, uh, they make, like, nerdy videos, I guess. They seem aged towards my group, not sure. Um, but uh, they, they have, like, this weird hentai show and, like, podcasts. Right. Yeah, I'm liking the sound of this more and more as you keep going. Go, go on, keep telling me about the Grandpa show. Rick, gross! Uh, I mean, what? A, a guy who knows what he likes, okay? And Rock Punch is putting out quality content. Continue. Uh, there's this one podcast I really like with these two really cute girls um, called Corn on the Macabre. And they just talk about weird stuff. And um, they do a live stream of that. I like to watch it. You should watch it too. We're definitely not invested, but you should still watch it. We're, 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 because we're, we're Rick and Morty. But you should watch it. It's a really good show. And I think, um, yeah, this is the channel that they do. 
Yep, this is the one. Streams on. On this dimension. If you're an interdimensional cable, turn into channel 43,762. We'll see you there. All right. Well done, Morty. Sort of. All right, Beth. Hi, I'm Beth. Oh, yeah. no, I spit everywhere. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wipe up that spit and let Beth talk, Morty. I'm sorry. This is why summer's my favorite. You, 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 you. Mom, you can't stand in front of her. I just did. Go ahead, oh. Beth. <laughs> It's, 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 it's good. It's good. We're having a good time. Yeah, this is already As great. Family. Family bonding. I feel so much closer already. Go what ahead, What kind Beth. of therapy is this? Just go on, Beth. Oh my god, my family's a mess. Hi there. I'm uh, Beth, obviously, as my dad put it. Um, I'm here to talk to you about my lovely hoodie. What? You really? haven't heard of my hoodie from d4dnd.com? That's rude. Yeah, we definitely stole those on the way in from a box sitting out front. They were lovely, really, really nice and soft, great to wear. Oh, and you Mom, can own one your yourself, time. presumably, on this uh, on this plane. And what what what, uh, what website was that again? D4DND.com. D4DND.com. And now, let us immerse ourselves into the world of Rick. <laughs> All right. Is it And we're back, all right. If you stuck around this long, well, hell, I guess you're sticking around for the whole ride. <laughs> Sorry, it tastes like 15.99 of Party City in here. So let's get started with the Lost Dungeon of Wickedness. <laughs> you're an adventurer, or maybe even a group of adventurers, whatever. And, and why are you here? No one cares. Don't tell me your backstory. We're here to kick ass and find treasure, all right? That's uh, your motivation. I just like to say. Now get ready to roll. Five pages of a backstory? I mean, I thought In that was a In front of you is a dark staircase. Shut up, Jerry. Dad, mm. let Rick talk. I, I'm the DM. You, you've said you played this game before, Jerry. I just want to kill some yeah. things. Ooh, well, gonna, it's, it is a role-playing immersive experience that we're together. You get plenty of opportunity when you're in the dungeon, Jerry. You're still walking down the staircase. So save your, 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 your plot points and your tragic backstory from when we're down the stairs. How about that? Well, I walk in front. Oh my god, Dad, How shut about that? up! He's your first in line. Let me think of a good trap for you. Hold on. Uh, in front of you is a dark staircase. Its mysterious shadows beckon you to enter. And by beckon, I mean you need to go down the stairs, and, or there's not a hell of a lot of purpose for us on this table. Are we not introducing our characters? Oh, yeah, it's probably a good point. Why don't we go around the table, starting with my favorite, Meat Face? Uh, thanks, Rick. Well, I'm this swole man full of muscles and gleaming packs. I hold up and they're real nice every day. Yeah, they Bald. really are. Full of anger and rage, but I channel that through my axe, descended down from my ancestors, ancestors of noblemen. No, noblemen? Yes, you, we're. You, you're a fighter, right? Did you choose? Did you choose noble as your background? Is yeah, I like. I I figured that if I start with a lot of loot, it'll be easier for me to get more gold. I'm just ready to kill some things. All right, well that's that's Meat Face. What's the name of your character, Meat Face? Ah, uh, oh the. Um, uh, meat face. 
Okay, well, meat face. Let's play meat face. All right, uh, let's, let's move on to something a little Again, less interesting. so happy to have you You here. go right ahead, Morty. Okay, um, I'm uh, Keth Silverson. I'm a rogue, half-orc, and um, I was an urchin, so I'm, like, really cool and on the streets, and, you know, I don't take shit from anyone. Okay, all right, Morty, and, wow. Yeah, and, um, you know, you could say I'm chaotic good. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you probably. Uh, you're done. Are you done? Yeah. All right, Beth. It's on to you. I'm playing Lion Emeranth Emeranthia. Well, you made it. You tell me how to pronounce it. <laughs> Emeranthia. Okay, that sounds good to me. I'm the prettiest girl in the party, and everyone loves me. Yeah, but what class are you? Oh, I'm a cleric okay. of life. Life cleric. All right. <laughs> All right, so Summer, what is, uh, what is it you're playing? Uh -um. Oh, right. So, Sorry, Jerry, I didn't see you there. I guess you can go ahead and say whatever you were going to say. Grandpa. My name is Kier Braven. At the age of five, okay, House right, Braven... Okay, right, what, what class is, is Kier? Is it Kier? Does it rhyme with ear? Is that really what you went with? Okay. What? All right, no, go ahead. Kier's... Tell me what your, tell me what your class is. I'm a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one wizard at this table, and he's standing right here. He's got the beard for it. All right. Well, guess what, Rick? I'm a wizard. Fine. You're a wizard. All right. Anything else? No. Summer, it's on to you. Can't wait to hear about this. So, like, my name is Summer, and I'm playing Ari Strongbow. I am a fighter and a half elf, and I am definitely the prettiest one here. Oh, ho, ho. okay. So, I, I wish this gonna... was a different timeline. Oh, well. All right. Hey, let's... So, See, see, Dad, short and sweet. Okay. I, I press ahead. You press ahead. The room is dark and smells like a pet store. Ew. It's all wood chips and warm poop down here. I would like to search for traps. Well, as you begin to search, you notice there's a bunch of bats flapping around the room that look harmless. I'll attack one. All right. What? Why? They're harmless. Go ahead and give me a roll. I need to, I need to, you need to roll the D20, Meat Face. You're so brave, Meat Face. If you give me an investigation check or whatever. I swing at it with my mighty axe for right. 11. And for 11, the bat swoops out of the way, and at that moment you realize that it wasn't a bat at all. In fact, it was a sturge. You know what a sturge is? Like big bats with like a big needle nose. It's like giant mosquito bats. It's a mosquito bat, and it's flying all around, and you barely miss it. Now I need everybody to roll initiative. Oh, you God. Roll? God. You're welcome. Uh, uh, the 15. 15. How long have we known Meat Face, Mom? All our life. As you're searching around and you're right, pulling up yeah. what looks like big clods of dirt, what? you find 35 gold, uh, silver pieces scattered all around. Oh, hey. But then you realize that it's all sturge poop. And you're going to have disadvantage on every charisma check until you wash it off. Up. I, and you're I, also going to have disadvantage on charisma saving throws. I have a passive perception of 13. I'm able to know it was poop. Don't put my hands in poop. You already did it. It's too late. Uh, Take your 25 silver so and roll your initiative. Smear it across your face of war uh, 14. You rolled a 14. 14. Let me write these down. All right. <laughs> okay, I got 14 from here, uh, from Summer over here. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> I got a 19 because I'm prettier. Okay, Beth is prettier with 19. Take your wine. Again, 11. Meat face with the 11, staying positive. Hashtag positive. never forget. Staying, staying I, consistent. I rolled a six. You rolled a six? <laughs> yeah. What's your initiative modifier? Plus, no, I rolled a four, plus two, six. <laughs> That's <laughs> pathetic. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Mm. All right, is anybody missing? 21, sir. I believe that puts me first. So why don't you just go ahead and write that down? Putting it down, shut Jerry. <laughs> Jerry goes first. Unless I roll better, <laughs> Jerry goes first. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> How does it taste, Rick, that humble pie you're eating right now? I don't know. You're about to take a big slice right now when a sturge <laughs> eats you. What are you doing first, Jerry? Um, I whip out my quarter staff given to me by the Braven family. Oh, here we go. Passed down by the line, though. Uh -huh. Got to admit, it's not as good as meat faces. All right. And I am going to cast Magic Missile at the Sturge. All right. Let's go ahead and roll some damage then. Let's see what you do. Are you throwing it at one Sturge? Because there are several Sturges. I am going to... I'm going to collect my damage upon a single Sturge. The same one that... The same one that would just attack Meat Face? Yes. I agree. We got to kill that one first. Avenge me! I will. I'm still alive, though. Thanks, Meat Face. 
That is nine total points of damage. Nine po total points of damage. All right. Uh, wow. Th somehow, through the miracle of, uh, I, honestly, I, I know how the entire universe works, and I don't know how you managed to, to do this, but yes, the surge goes down <laughs> as your magic missiles bounce off it and sends its spiraling body past uh, Meat Face. So, makes it best turn, thankfully. Beth, you notice now as this Sturge goes flying by, four more Sturges appear and begin flying around all manically. And they all look like they're really impressed with Meat Face's pecs, but they're still going to do something about it. Um, I'm going to move up. Okay. Take out my mace. Alrighty. And hit one. Okay, roll, roll that. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, 23. All right, Mom! Yeah, yeah, I'd say that hits. Go ahead and roll some damage! Put that Sturge in the ground! Four. You smash that Sturge right up against the wall. It begs for its life momentarily, and you pop it again! I don't know how Sturges beg. It was mostly like a... And you bam! Right in the face. No time to even hear its last prayer. All right. That makes it summer. Summer, what are you doing? So, how many surges are in the air? There are now three surges left fluttering around. So, one of them seems really preoccupied with you and her, and try to decide which one of you is the more beautiful. I bet if it was dead, you'd definitely know. <laughs> so, I'm going to take out my longbow, and this thing is flying around. I'm going to take aim and All right. fire. All right, real original. Let's see it. Uh, so, if I, 22. Well, that, that definitely hits. Roll some damage. Hey, look at that. Seven. You pop it right in the face, mm. its little needle nose goes flying off in a random direction. It claws and panics at itself. It's doing damage to itself because it's so panicky. It's turning its own face into chud and, and disgustingness as it tries to get uh. its mouth back, but it's never getting it back. It's never getting it back, Summer. You killed it forever. It's never going to know what its uh. life was like previously, ah. and it falls dead. That's <laughs> what a real warrior does. Take note, Mom. Fucked up. Uh, all right. Uh. Meet face. All right, well, she keep this little you. charm train rolling. I pick up one of the Sturges as oh. my free action. And I bathe myself in its blood, right. squeezing oh, it. Wow. And then I use all of this anger for my ancestors. Although I'm not a barbarian for some reason. I oh, know, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I attack. That's going to be a 14 to hit this you time. You hit it barely, just barely. But okay. You managed to clip it in the wing. Uh, that's going to be... Uh, 12 points of damage, slashing damage from my great acts of ancestral nobleage. I hate to tell you this, meat face. You split it right down the middle! It you splits in half, you're covered in even face. more! Look at his glistening face pecs! Is so amazing! Oh, look at him dance! Right. Oh, God. Ah. True right. member of this family right that here. That makes it Morty. Yeah. There's one surge left, Morty. Okay, I'm gonna. Is there, um... there two surges surge left? Yeah, I'm one, gonna. I got one. Uh, one surge. One surge left. Thank you, meat face. Oh my god, Rick can't do math. <laughs> I can definitely do math. I'm just a little drunk. I mean, mm. I'm a little preoccupied. Oh, can I do a sneak attack? You know what? Yeah, we'll say that you're sandwiched between Jerry and you're like a loser sandwich what? between this one surge. What? what? Okay. Um, I'm gonna. Or a grand sandwich of majesty. I'm sure. gonna go <laughs> sneak attack and stab it with my dagger. All right, go ahead. I believe in you, son. Um, that's, I rolled, uh, so it's 16 to hit. 16 hits. Morty, go ahead and roll that damage. Okay, okay. Um, um, oh no, wait, yes, I do have the dice. Sorry. Come on, Morty, I told you to bring all the dice. I told you specifically not I to bring the dice again. Oh, he's angry. Oh, everybody calm down. We're trying to have fun, Morty. Eight damage. You take it down, you sneak up behind it while it's too preoccupied with how stupid Jerry looks. You stab it in the back and run it right up. Yes, and then I stand on it and then I dance on its corpse and go, whoa! I, I need a performance check for that. Oh, um. Uh, I would like to aid in his performance. How are you aiding him? Well, I yeah, continue, but I have something. Me face, you always go first. Okay, I take two of the other ones, and I start dousing Morty in blood as well. All right, Morty, you're covered in blood. 23 to performance. All right, 23 to performance. What are you doing? I would also like to take the blood at Meat Faces for bring everyone in and bathe in it as well. All as right, the three of you covered in blood, glistening. Listen to the most beautiful screaming you've ever heard coming from Morty. It, it's the war cry. Get you all pumped up. <laughs> and everyone will get plus two on their next roll. That's, hey, that's a lot, son. All that's, right. That's a lot. In front of you, Thank first you. time ever, I'm proud. In of you. front of you, you see a door leading to first another time? room. Oh, wow. 
Um, I would like to check for traps again. All right, go ahead and roll it. Uh, 13. Uh, you don't, you're not able to detect any traps because all you can see and smell is all the poop clotted all over your hands. I, I would clean myself up. I have prestidigitation. Well, Just you didn't on. say you used it, Jerry. Well, I'm using prestidigitation right, now to clean myself gone. up. The okay. poop's gone now. All right. Are happy? Are we all happy now? We're is trying it, to have a good time, Jerry. Gee, is it Do the rest of us have poop on us, too? No, no, just just Jerry. Okay. Jerry put his hands in it. Like I a weirdo. Like, I a, like a real creep. He put his hands right in it. I don't, Dad. I don't mind you know what? I... On. All right. Is it you trapped? don't find any traps, though. The door looks pretty safe. I will kick I... it open. All right. Go and give me a strength check. Nineteen. That door goes flying off the hinges. You never seen anybody so strong, so crazy. Meat face. This reminds me of just the other week when we were on vacation. Oh man, that bathroom had never seen those kind of. Anyway, it was great. Yes. Uh, that one guy. I run towards it. I jump midair into a big ball and crash through the the wood planks, splintering it all into the next room. All right. This room features a small wooden table and a couple of stools. Two goblins hang out there, and they looked pretty bored before. But then they see you and they start screaming at the top of their lungs. They're like, ah! <laughs> What do you do? Um, I would like to um, speak with these goblins and maybe convince them to lead us through this dungeon. All right. What are you going to say? Hello, fair goblinoids. I am Keir Braven. <sighs> No, we're my all there with you, Morty. It's okay. My Go character ahead. is very affluent. All right, okay. we're listening to the affluence. Hit me with it. I, I say uh, we would like to you to guide us through the dungeon, uh, and we will pay you. I will pay them the 35 silver that I found in the previous room. And if you don't, I'll break your knees, and and then your ankles will turn backwards, and I'll, I'll put your hands in your eyes. Oh. Roll, roll persuasion with advantage. All right. Are you actually proficient in persuasion? No. <laughs> Damn it, I am. <laughs> I have intimidation right uh, here. A two. All right. <laughs> the goblins look at you, and they say, ah! and they run out the door. And it, as you take a look around to try to get more of your bearings, you notice that there is only one door, and it looks like they're headed through it. A javelin them. <laughs> oh. Why I ready my longbow like... and get the other one. All right, <laughs> killing these goblins. We need some attack rolls. All right, yeah. Guys, I don't think we need to kill everyone. No, this is 15. how you work through your anger. Morty. You kill things. What? Twenty-two. Are Twenty-two. Oh, God. What'd you get? Fifteen. Oh, you both hit. All right. I need some right. damage from both of these guys. I'm sorry. Ten. This is how the game works, Jerry. If they decide to do something, they do it. Fourteen. Uh, ten. Fourteen and ten. First off. Morty, Meat Face was at your baptism. Do you not okay, this? so... Wait, we're Catholic? <laughs> Wait, why would I remember my baptism? I was a baby! Wait, well, how, how much damage me. did you say you did? Fourteen. Fourteen? Yeah. You did ten? Now. Oh man, they're both dead. You see one get shunted right through the back yeah, of the Yeah, Meat And the other one gets cleaved in half while he's going, No, not me! Not me! And that, that's his last words, actually. Uh, it's kind of tragic. Uh, I... Uh, it's question time, and I did all the axing because I'm I'm the question man. I mean that makes sense. They didn't seem to have anything. This to is say. how real heroes deal with the problems. Yeah, his uh, one of those organs is like oozing out of the, the halves of his body and kind of oh. plopping onto the floor. And is he still alive? No, no. I mean, well, he is breathing, and his heart's still beating oh, a little. Uh, oh, now it stopped. Oh, so uh, I should... was about ready to. I'll hook another uh, hook another bow. All right, you got, you, got, you got another shot lined up. You're, you're, you're ready in case something comes out. Um, okay, uh, there's one door in this room. Um, yeah, there's the one you came out of, and there's one right across from it. I'm gonna check for traps. Go ahead and roll it. I love how paranoid he is. He knows what it's all about. Thirteen. You don't detect any traps. I tell the party I do not detect any traps. Ugh. <laughs> you, you hear him say that in that weird, stupid voice. <laughs> is there anything of value in this room? Uh, go ahead and make a Trust perception you, check. Meat face. Can I make one too? Yeah, you, you can absolutely make one. We're going to do two at a time. We, I like that D4's rules. They got they got some smart guys on that show. 14. 14. <laughs> What'd you uh, get out there, Morty? 12. 12. The two of you look around. Doesn't look like there's anything of value. Maybe those two goblins knew something about it, but now they're dead, so. 
I start giving one CPR. All right. Your mouth is now also covered in blood on the inside I, and out. You, you I, do everything you can for him. You try your damn hardest. You really give it. I'm going to roll medicine. Please. Seven. He's dead as hell. <laughs> uh, can I search his body? Yeah, go for it. Can we stop desecrating these goblins for a split second? Fourteen. Yeah, there's nothing on him. It looks like he was just wearing a loincloth. Or now he's got about half of one. <laughs> Gross. All right, what, okay, Jerry, were you wanting to do so? I hear you groaning and complaining. I... No. There's no there's those traps on that next door. Can I, I, um... What? Can I stealth into the next room? Yeah, you can go ahead and stealth. It's pretty dark in this room. It's darker than most of the other ones, but you notice that the entire uh, dungeon is lit by some kind of magic. I have, mm, I magic. have dark vision. Does that help me? Hey, son, I also have dark I can vision. See. The two of you can see a little bit better in this room. And so your checks will be a little bit easier if you're looking around, but it's lit enough that you can see. It's just in one corner, you see there's a couple of empty looking barrels that look like the goblins are like picked apart. Why don't you take the lead, son? Okay. Tell us what it's all about. Ooh. Oh, I gotta see, I gotta, okay. Wow. 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 What a dirty. <laughs> wow. Okay, so that's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. On stealth. You feel like you're really, really sneaky. For the rest of you, you don't know where, what, what's your ca stupid character's name, Kier? Keth. 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 You don't know where Keth goes. Where, where'd Keth go? Where'd he? I don't know. I don't see him. Good role play, Jerry. <laughs> you know right. what? Effort is being made. No, I, I, I was being genuine. Jesus, not everything's a, a, me being an asshole, just most of it. All right. So, you're standing at the door. You don't feel like there's any traps, and you lost sight of Keth. What are you doing? I would like to light a torch. All right. You light a torch. It is lit in your hand. And I would like to go into the room. All right. You enter the room, and this room is sort of a trapezoidal with uh, doors to the east, north, and south. So it's also got statues kind of scattered around. Mostly statues of Rick with inscriptions like, Wow! And Damn! One of the statues depicts a woman in armor. Really fine crafting. Real interesting. Seems like a great artist worked on that one. Great. I would like to cast Detect Magic on Go this for room. it. I do it. <laughs> well, what are you detecting on? Nice. I would like to detect magic on the statues. You detect magic on the statues, and as you're feeling around and kind of getting a feel for what's going on, you get something very basely magical about the really nice-looking lady statue. Hmm. All the other ones are really handsome, though. I want to make that clear. They're really nice-looking statues because they're me. Oh, they're I ignore great. the other statues, and I go straight to the lady one. All right. At the base of the statue, a plaque reads, Don't worry. I'm not a real person turned to stone. I'm just a cool-looking statue put here to intrigue you. It's probably nothing. You should pick a door. Let's get a move on. I would like to investigate the statue uh, further. Of course you would. Yeah, go and make a perception check. There's no help in these people. Five. Take a look around, and you all see Jerry really struggling. It's, he's trying to figure something out, but you're not sure what it is because he's really struggling. Look at, like, make it look, make it look real, like, like, uh, uh, real stupid. I go, I go. This is a female statue, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I go up to to Jerry, and I go. I know you're having problems with your marriage, trying to get back with your wife, but staring at other women is probably not the best thing to do. You know, it's just sometimes I don't feel like I'm paying anyone's paying attention to me. Sometimes I feel like I'm the statue. You know, and that's really deep, Dan. This is really well. Getting, you know, way get weird. We're playing D and D. We're just keeping it playing. Keep it playing. Makes People a good are watching point. this for crying out loud. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's, what know, are you it's, saying? What did you say? I wasn't paying attention. No, I'm saying I'm married to a statue, an uncaring, unfeeling thing. All right, well, yeah, okay, so is mom. anybody else going to look into the statue or anything? Help me out, Morty, come on, man, help me out. Uh, I'll, I'll investigate. You'll investigate the statue. statue. Thank you, Summer. Oh, my God. Well, I was getting real. Uh, cool. six. Okay, all right, what was that? Six. Yeah, you don't find shit. Anybody else going to try? I'll, I'll try. All right, I believe in you, Morty. Investigation. Okay. It's a, um... Oh, here we go again. <laughs> 17? Oh, you, you finally find it. You look behind, and there's a secret compartment inside. As you reach in, you find a note. <gasps> Fold it up. What does it say? Do you open it up? Yes, I open it up. What does it, it says say? in all capital letters, quit wasting time, pick a door, and go. Flip a coin if you have to. Uh, just pick a direction. It's not rocket science. What are you going to do? Spend the whole night standing in here with a statue? You need to pick a door and go. How many this doors? is like the third fucking room we don't have all day. I have a coin. I have a coin. Let me use my coin. How many doors? There are... 
There are a total of three doors. The door you came in. Okay. Do they all look the same or? Doors. Okay, I have a coin. So there's two doors. There's a door behind you. There's one door in front of you, one door to your right, and then one door to your far right. Why are there so many? You can't flip the coins for four doors. I, right? I told you. Hey, you figure the it right out, door. Tony. Huh? The right door. The right, the far right, or the one sort no, of right. Just the right door. Just the right. Oh, because it's the correct one. Oh, the correct one. Okay. Me face your logic is. Un I can't wrong. argue with that. That's that's solid. That's solid stuff. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wait. The right room. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna screw you up for this at all. Well, not you, me face, anyway. All right, let's see here. Uh, I think we're having a really nice family uh, game night. All right, so you glad go. you recommended this, me face. <laughs> this is all right, my idea. You walk into a room. Morty, me face is our guest. Treat him with the respect he deserves. This rectangular room, you, you <laughs> go to the right door, which is the door right in front of you. This rectangular room conveniently conforms to a grid for easy map-making purposes for me. On the north wall is a big orange mouth about eight feet high. Yeah, it's gross and weird. There's nothing else you can see in the room, and you're not really looking anywhere else, because, I mean, what the F? It's a big, giant mouth. Uh, go ahead and get me the, uh, can you get the, uh, the, the map for that, please? Just, uh, Ooh, we get a map? Yeah, yeah we got a map. Of course we do. Just go ahead and grab that map in there. And yeah, Grandpa the Rick. The D4, the Rock Punch Channel. So of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's always a map. That's yeah. like their whole thing. I wanted to stick in charge with the. What's what? Well, it turns out that since the map was made of Play-Doh, it fell apart on the trip. So hey, we're gonna use our imaginations this time. Whoa, wow, oh, re really using our brains. I know for some of you it's gonna be a little bit harder. Why is it this Jerry. timeline that the Play-Doh has to melt? All right, so. Wait, doesn't Play-Doh get like hardened after if it's exposed to Listen, the Morty, I don't need you to, listen, you I'm like a that, scientist, don't you, okay? I don't wanna sit here and what? explain to you Play-Doh <laughs> like you're five. Ew, gross summer guy. All right, you're standing in front of a giant wall with a big mouth. Can we name it Morty? Can we name it Morty? Yeah, you surely can if you want. What do you guys do? What? No! I I would like to uh, propose that maybe both of you go up and speak to the mouth together. Why would we do that? <laughs> because this is family bonding exercise and there's a giant mouth there. Okay, well guess what? Because I have eight hit points Kat and we might die. Here doesn't know Ari. Since Keth is a little bitch, I will go up there by myself and investigate it. You gonna take that, Morty? You gonna take that? No, am I still stealthy? <laughs> yeah, you are. All right, I'm gonna stealthy, stealthily walk up to the mouth. All right, the two of you walk up to the mouth. You don't see Keth is there, but you feel his presence somewhere nearby. All right, what are you doing? I'm looking at the mouth. I want to make an investigation. Go ahead and roll it. Don't even bother what the number is. It's a big fucking mouth. What do you expect? It's a mouth. <laughs> I've already explained it. It's a mouth. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, are you going to talk to the mouth? Should I talk to the mouth? Hi. Um, I'm going to talk to the mouth. All right, what are you saying? Where? Surprise! <laughs> Answer this riddle! You have to do it! S M H D W M! What's next in line? Solve this riddle and something cool happens! If you fail, it's bad! What's your answer? Wait, S M H D W N? S A S M as in Morty. H D W M as in Morty. Oh. He wants to know what the next one in line is. Uh. Oh, I walk up and say Schmamdow. <laughs> the 1980s band Schmamdow. Dad, I don't think anyone knows that thing. That, that, Good things are happening. Take three points of shame damage. Run! <laughs> You're incorrect. Oh, Dad. It licks its mouth. Wrong! Uh, all right, and I'm everybody, real. all yeah. of you, lose every item you have on your body. It disappears off of you. What? One hundred percent. You're all naked. What? Naked. Yeah, and you were ah. born. What about my axe, Rick? It's gone. I'm sorry. My longbow? It's all gone. All right. Wait, all because we didn't get the stupid riddle. I'm gonna run. Hey, listen, I'm not okay, the one that came I'm gonna up with charge into, I'm gonna charge into the mouth and go get my axe back. 
The mouth licks you. Ew. And you don't take any shame, you're meat face. <laughs> and says, I don't have it! It's further in! And it closes up. All that's left now is the door out. But the one we came in? No, no, there's another one. Can I stealth through that door too? Yeah, you know what? Your stealth is still holding on. Okay. You didn't say anything. That's true, I didn't. Hey, by the way, good on the Shmam down. I mean, even for you, Jay. They had a year. Yeah, they, they had, had a, a year. Damn year. They, it, was, it was a great band. It was a good year, and you know. You know what's funny is year was the answer. Why? What? Second, what? minute, hour, day. Uh, you know, month, year. Uh, anyway, I hate brittles. All right. I'm gonna kill things. So now you're all you naked. Your Shmando? little jiggly bits are all hanging out. Mm. What are you doing? You don't remember Shmando? Go in the next door and kick door. it open. Why would I remember something? They're too young for Shmando, except for Beth. But Beth has taste. It's a, it's, a, it's a, you have to admit, it's an acquired band. We met at a Shmando concert. Is that a uh, well, I can't help you there, bud. What was that? I don't uh, know. Well. I kicked the door open. All right, you kicked the door open. I'm too drunk. <laughs> I'm loving these door kicks. All right. Kicking down doors like a boss. All right. Wait, did I stealthily go through it first? Yes, you are stealthily in the room. Here's what you see. There are four goblins. They appear to be sitting around a table. They got a bunch of weird looking dice. And they're all sitting there rolling them. They got parchment scattered all over the table with them. Meat face, let's, let's not kill them this time. Let's Let's... Try to have someone else. Mom, mom, you, you can make talk? an investigation check if you're trying to figure out what's going on here. I will do that. I will assist you. Go ahead. Roll that with advantage, as is the rule. Uh, yeah, I guess it's the rule, sort of. Fourteen. Fourteen. No. All right. <laughs> you take a look around. It looks like they're playing goblins and gizzards. It's their favorite tabletop role-playing game. It's better than D and D by a long shot. It's a shame we're not playing that tonight. I think it's because we're not goblins. Yeah, well, I, I, point. some of you can speak goblin. Trust me, I know. I looked at your sheets before I came in here. <clears throat> no I, way. I would like to walk up and begin speaking goblin. <gasps> what do you say? I say, hello, fellow uh, persons of the dungeon. We would like to be, perhaps be guided to where our equipment is. We encountered a mouth. And if our clothes. Could... And our clothes. And you speak it, goblin? I was telling him that. He does, he's speaking goblin. Ah, oh, damn it. You, I think you actually do speak goblin. <laughs> Look at her language. Oh, yep. <laughs> there you go. All right. There you go. That works out. If you could uh, direct us to the nearest portal, I would be forever in your debt, and I bow very genteel. They all look at each other, and one of them says, Don't the way he bend over seems sort of stupid? The next one says, Yeah, it does. He does seem sort of stupid, doesn't he? And then you're left there feeling kind of dumb, but finally one of them's like, you encountered the mouth, didn't you? Yes. yes. My name's Jerry. This is Jerry, Jerry, and Jerry. Mine's spelled with a J and a Y. This one's spelled with a J and an I. This one's spelled with a G and a Y. And this one's spelled with a G and an I-E. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're all really dumb. Yeah, okay, yeah, of course you are. Well, well, Jerry's. If you wouldn't mind helping us go find our equipment, I would appreciate it. Yeah, this is this is really cute. This is really cute what you're doing. Yeah. I'm just doing what the characters do, Jerry. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to impersonate the Jerry's, okay? This isn't personal. This isn't me trying to get at you. Mm -hmm. It's just can a coincidence. Yeah. Can, can we, can I got the book, okay? Okay, uh, you know what? I'm sick of this. I come out of stealth. All, all right. right. I'm going to roll intimidation. Keith. Okay. I'm going to roll intimidation. I'm going to say to them, hey. Jerry, Jerry, and Jerry. Jerry. Do they understand her? <laughs> Shit. You better Whatever. Keep going. I just, I just, Jerry, 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 Jerry. How do we get out of here? How do we move on? What are, what, what the hell is that mouth thing? I don't know what's going on. What is our purpose? Are we looking for treasure? Are we, is there like a motive? Like, come on. Um, okay, that's 19. <laughs> 19 for intimidation. What happened to it? Tell me, right now. They right, immediately. Right. As you continue to slam your hands and, and, and shout at them in a language they don't understand, and it's just falling over them like mountains of water, they, they, they just, they're, they're, they're drowning in your words. They look over at you and they're like, I don't know what that guy's on, but I'll tell you anything you want to know! Anything you want to know! We would like to know where our equipment is. Oh, next room. <laughs> and our clothes. Next and room. our clothes. Thank you. I bow as cool as I possibly can. Roll it.
Yeah, about as expected, huh, Jerry? Why don't you tell me the number? Say it so that everybody at home can hear. I'm dying to know. Waiting for the seconds. Is that a, uh... Is that a two I see over there, Jerry? I have a negative one. <laughs> you, uh... Oh, jeez, Dad. You, you bow just like you do in real life, Jerry, and it's about as impressive as when you do it, so, you know. I'm going to interject ah. I'm gonna interject in Goblin and say, despite what our father is doing, we are very gracious for what you have Yeah, they all, they all just wave you off, and so, they're back to playing their you. game. Thank you. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh you, you bowed the wrong direction. <laughs> no, no so, I didn't. It's game. No. Dad, I gross. No, gross. I did not. I, I did not. Dad, it I don't at know me. why your butt cheeks spread like that when you bow, but I think you need to get something checked. I... This is great role play. I'm loving you guys. Y'all are really putting your all into it. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm, feeling I'm gonna it go right in the now. next room. All right. So next room to get our clothes and our weapons. All right. You walk into the next room. Whatever. This is what you get for not letting me go on the field trip with Jessica. This dusty old room features a sweet ass treasure chest. You sense that bling is imminent. The stuff you lost when you effed up that back there with that Smavdow stuff. That really obvious bit of adventuring, it's all piled up nice and neat around the chest. Aren't you lucky? Investigation. Oh, okay, what are you investigating? Just, it seems too perfect, it just... All right, make me a perception check. I will join you. All right, go for it. You're doing great. Uh, 11. 11, all right. Seven, your sarcasm is not appreciated. Hey, everything looks it's pretty normal. Enough. Looks a-okay. I'm gonna go get Tamantha back. All right, you get Tamantha back, no problem. And I cradle oh. my axe. All right, you go up next to the treasure chest, you get up your stuff, do you put your clothes back on? Oh yeah. All right, you put your clothes back on too. Mephis, right. can you pass me my bow and clothes, please? Toss everybody their things. All right, everybody gets their things back. Oh yeah. And all that's left is the unopened treasure chest. Hmm. Um. Is it locked? Can I unopen it? Or yeah, you can go over it. Are you it. going to close uh, it? Uh, 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 uh. I would like to search for traps. That's a good idea. Go ahead and roll it. Ah, oh, jeez. I love it when he wastes everyone time. It's important. Uh, dirty twenty, oh, as they say. Oh, it's trapped as hell. Yeah, you think something's gonna pop out of there and fuck you up. I stand back. All right. And I say it's trapped. Well, you heard him. <laughs> Are you gonna untrap it? No, that's your job. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, that's one other thing. What did you get? Dirty 20? Dirty 20. You know that the trap cannot be disabled. The trap cannot be disabled. Well, we'll put. Well, Well, I um, guess we'll just leave it alone then. All right, um, hold on. Wait, what's the point? Wait, wait, wait. Well, okay. I attack it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I assist, yeah. I, I will cast a Ray of Frost on right, the chest as well. All right, attack it, both of you. Yeah, get it, Tamantha. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> well done. <laughs> what are we looking at over there, Jerry? Eight. Eight, mm. you hit it. Oh. I mean, it's it's not going anywhere. You, just, you literally just point your... Six points of cold damage. Yeah, it's, 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 now it's cold chest. Go ahead. Maximum damage. All right, you bust that thing Fif wide open. 15 points of damage. And now I'm going to need a dexterity saving throw from you. Yes. Dad, are you seriously wasting spell slots on a chest? So this what it looks like, just trip. so everybody knows, it looks like it got frozen at the top. Even I can be fair to Jerry. It was frozen at the top, which aided him in breaking it. There. Thank Nine. you. All right. You're going to take... Nine points of slashing damage. Oh! As a buzzsaw Big leaps face. out of the thing and smashes into your no. perfect pet. You knew it was trapped. Why did you guys attack it? Not me, face. I'm gonna run forward. I thought I could break the trap. As you're oh. like leaning over to see what's inside, you hear as it cuts into you. All right, you take that damage. Big but inside face. the chest is a glittery mound of treasure. 210 gold pieces, 410 silver pieces, Three, uh, E-P? E-P, what is this? Electrum, we don't use it. Uh, yeah, that's probably platinum. <laughs> and then two potions of healing and a ruby. Uh, that smells like a Electrum fresh is the uh, standard used between gold and silver. Oh, uh, it often uses currency in Waterdeep. Well, we're not in Waterdeep, are we? No, no, we're in the Lost Dungeon of Wickedness. 
You know what? Fair enough. It is, right. If I'm correct in my studies, it's also the main currency in uh, Barovia, where silver is outlawed there. Thank you, Meatface. Yeah. yeah. What an interesting bit your... of trivia, Meatface. It's because it's run by a vampire. I mean, he has been a part of. Oh. He has been the leader of our trivia team for at least four months. So I mean, <laughs> it's, it's you know it's pretty great. What? So what was what was that breakdown? Again? All right, <laughs> two hundred and ten gold pieces. You guys yeah. play trivia without me? No, you were there. Remember you answered the question about the dogs. 410 silver pieces. Three Electro pieces. I totally remember that. Two potions of healing. And a ruby that smells like fresh baked cherry pie. I bite into the ruby. No, meat face. Uh, Make an attack roll. (laughs) (laughs) Unarmed strike. Ten. Ten. You bite into it. Your perfect teeth don't chip, but doesn't taste like a cherry pie at all. It tastes like a ruby. Hmm. This is a lie, and I throw it on the ground. All right, it bounces around a little bit. I pick can it I up. Can I pick it up? You. Oh, you all some. right. Yes, you can then. I'll pick all up right. the gold. All right. Can well, I... Okay. While they're doing that, I'm just going to walk up to Meat Face, put my hand on his pecs, and say, it's going to be okay, and cast Cure Wounds. Wow, right in front of Jerry, all right. Okay, yeah, I where this is going. It's a little intimate. Um, all right. I'm just, I'm healing him. All right, how much Mom, are you healing him for? Room. It is a ruby, right? It is a ruby. Ruby. I mean, we did agree. If I ever died, you know, you would be with Meat Face. How but. much <laughs> gold is there, Summer? Uh, 210. <laughs> 210 pieces of gold? Everybody right. gets, no, hold on. really funny in the book, and oh. nothing Jerry said would be that funny. <laughs> Everybody gets 42 gold, right. and everybody gets 92 silver. Ugh, thank God for Meat Face, math yeah. genius. Right. Take 10 points of healing, Meat Face. <laughs> thank you. There's one door ahead of you. <clears throat> it doesn't look like there's anything else of interest in this room. You know what I want to do. <laughs> Go ahead and roll it. This is seven. That's... Well, Perfectly safe. You should go in first. You specifically. You know what, Rick? I do. I All right, go in first. A pair of perfectly rounded stone mounds, cleft artfully straight down the middle, fills this room. Looks a lot like a butt from where you're standing. Something shiny glints near the ceiling, about four feet above what can only be described as this huge butt. Just calling it like I see it, folks. <laughs> it's a polished stone. And as you guys come in with your torch and you shine it over there, it kind of gleams the whole butt. Did the did the goblins beat us here and sculpt what they saw in the room before? I... Seriously, Grandpa Rick, what is it with you and butts? Wait, whoa, 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 this is I'm just reading with a book. I got this book from another dimension where I was a great D and D writer and I write adventures. And why shouldn't multiple dimensions be able to have fun with that? Okay, mm, I'm, I'm trying say. this for the first time. This is therapy, Morty. Whatever you say, Grandpa Rick. Thanks, Summer. All right, whatever. What are you doing with this big butt? (laughs) Um, can I sneak up on it and investigate it? Yes, you're gonna need an acrobatics (laughs) check to climb this butt, though. (laughs) What's happening over there? All right, I roll acrobatics. I know what's happening over there. (laughs) Does anyone want to assist me? I remember 1985. You know what? <laughs> yeah, I'm not afraid of this butt. I will assist you. It is your butt. It, oh. We don't know that for sure. Okay, that's tw- that's, a, that's a that's a crit. It's oh, it's a natural twenty! Oh, uh-huh. oh natural twenty! Everybody oh. yell! Oh. 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 Yes. Natural yes. twenties for no one. I just made that up. Rip, oh my god! Rip that boat it. wide open. All right. I feel with, it. With the help. I can't let people play this game now. With the help of Jerry, he's pushing on your butt, and you get onto the butt. It's You're on top of the butt. It's a twenty-four total. All right, twenty-four total. All right. You go up there. You scramble up those baby smooth surface cheeks. Oh you yeah. Go, you go up to the shiny thing. Oh when you yeah. You go up to the shiny thing. It's a plaque. It's written in common. What? Okay, I can read that. And it says, "Say goodbye to your butt." What? No. I need you to make oh, a no. DC. Oh, I'm not gonna tell you that. You gotta make a deck saving throw. <laughs> Almost. Almost. This is tougher than it looks. <laughs> uh, does a ten cover it? Oh no, I'm afraid it doesn't, Morty. You don't feel any pain. All right. My... You don't feel anything bad happen to you. Are you... But you know something's missing. I don't have a butt. Everybody looks up and they see Morty without a butt. 
Whoa. Where the oh, butt God. should be, the legs have shifted slightly so they connect. It's not painful or anything, but you don't have a butt. Your butt's gone, Morty. It's gone. It's gone forever. You don't have a butt anymore, Morty. Why? Why? How do I get my butt back? I don't know, Morty. It's part of the mystery of the dungeon, Morty. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, God. Are you going to... How am I going to sit? How am oh, I... Are you going to build, gonna build up? up Morty, you already can tell it's going to be uncomfortable. Oh, my God. Morty. Son, it's, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna get your butt back. Your okay. butt is in this dungeon somewhere. We'll, we'll find it. Dad, wait, he doesn't I have a butt. Don't, let's not. Well, do not bring up, don't wait, not bring up his condition wait, right now. I can now. find my butt and put it back on. You don't know. Well, uh, you you uh, just gotta have to investigate the, the dungeon. You Pussies? can't eat anything Pussies? until we find your butt. How do I, is my, <laughs> what about the rest of my genitalia? Is there? Everything's there, everything's fine except for your butt. Morty, oh, your butt, it. your butt's gone, Morty. It's, oh, it's okay. Um, well, well, I, well, 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 I mean, what are you gonna do without your butt, Morty? You, 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 you can't, nobody's gonna be able to look at your butt when you get older, Morty. It's, it's gonna be terrible. Jessica's gonna think you look weird. Jessica already thinks I look weird. Okay, let's. Now, if she, she you thought you looked. Um, I, I He's would, been a family friend for years. I would like Morty, to create and use prestidigitation to create a small illusory image of a butt cheek. All right, you have one left cheek. <laughs> But it I was always fond of the right cheek. <laughs> you don't feel the cheek, but he pressed to digitizes one left cheek that is almost like the real thing. A little flabbier. Wait, now I'm, now I'm lopsided. Well, thanks, Dad. Wow, really, thanks. I, am, I really, no, no, I think you've helped enough. Eh, I'm enough. stealthing away. All right, go I roll stealth. stealth. <laughs> I roll stealth. I walk away. <laughs> okay, that's a mm. 10 as well. All right. We all see you. you know, oh, I you think go. you're pretty Stay stealthy. There. But yeah, all of you cheek. look, <laughs> and you can clearly tell what Morty is, and it turns out that most of Morty's ability to stealth was in his butt. But it's gone now. All right. I was always a fan of the right butt cheek. The left butt cheek always seemed to cause... Uh, you know, I didn't have a preference until you said something. I, I, I think you're right, mate. They were always warring with each other. I mean, all right. It, I don't know, when they eat. You see a door in front of you. Like that's door in front of you. What are you gonna do with that door? Uh, um, uh, go ahead, get it out of the way. Boom. Natural 20. You take a look around. Shit. Yeah, there's there's a there's a jerry trap on the door. You disable it. You Alright, wow, it wow, wow, okay. Yeah, pat on the back. Alright. Oh yeah, and you got a 20. Oh, Everybody oh, yeah. else. Ah! Ah! That's for you, Jerry. Hmm. Alright. We'll step back and say this door is trapped. <laughs> but you also know that the trap is only for you, so... What? Why is it only for me? I, I don't know, it's just how it's written in here. I, I can't, I, 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 don't, I don't make this well, up. Well, I, I will anything. attempt to disarm this trap then. Uh, with your natural 20, you, you manage to disarm it. I open the door and right. go through. You see a small like area, it looks like it's connecting to two rooms. There's a room at the end of a hallway on your right. The one in front of you both have doors. What are you doing? You want to um, take the lead on this. Well, um, as de facto leader of this oh, group. God. I go to the right one. <laughs> all right, you walk, Summer walks into the right one. Uh, all right. I see that our training is paying off. Thank you, Meatface. You open the I door, or do you have him check it for traps? Mm -mm. I'll go to the left door. Not to be undone mm. by fine dad. Boom. I do left door too. Because 13. guess what? I have one left butt cheek and I just think maybe. All right. That's my good side. You face you yeah. going to the right door. It all started with the left butt cheek. That's all right, what did you I roll? always choose right. A 13. Door's not trapped as far as you can tell. Do you all open right. it? I do. All right, you open the door. And you open the left door. Yep. I'll describe what you see in both doors. Um, so I would can... like to take a moment to role play for a moment with Keith. Keth, Dad, it's Keth. Fine, go Keth right ahead. Silver. Just give me time to look in these Keth. rooms. Keth. Yes, You must here. wear your condition like armor. If you wear your condition like armor, it can never be used to hurt you. Oh, jeez, Dad. So wear your single butt. Cheek All right, that was some great role play. That was fantastic. I loved that. that All right. The dwarf from the show said so that. So there's two. There's two doors. All right. <laughs> there's two doors. Uh -huh. in, yeah. one of, in the door you're looking in, Morty, the only one of you, you are the only one that sees in this door as you're alone. <laughs> you can't hear me, face. <laughs> you just brushed over the meta <laughs> shit that just happened. That was amazing. Oh. <laughs> Continue. Just one moment. We're going to try to get our maps back. All right. Okay. In your room, you see what looks to be uh, 
a long wide room that looms before you. Mysterious runes and patterns over the cover the room's wall and floor. Visible at the end of this long room is some sort of evil mage. Oh man, he's so evil. At least as evil as anyone can be under the lens of subjective moral parameters and constantly moving ethical goalposts. But he looks real tough, and he blocks the way to the next room. Figure it out. As for you, you... My door. My door. Yeah, my door. your door. My door. Right. My door. You see... <coughs> you see a, um... Where is the... Oh, shit. <laughs> see what y'all are making me do? You see, never split the party, Morty. <laughs> I, 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 I think we've explained yeah, that many Marty. times about not explaining the party. Well, what have we here? Let's take a look. Some kind of designs carved in relief on the floor. From above, you realize that these designs are actually dozens of tiny hallways connected to tiny rooms. Some have teensy treasure chests, while others feature tiny traps that would have trouble catching a mouse. But it's not mice these traps are after, then trail off dramatically. Oh, sorry, that was a note to my, myself. I shouldn't have read that one out loud. <laughs> So which which room are you guys gonna go in? I always go in the right. Thank you, Meat Face. The right door. Morty, what are you doing? I am uh, with Keith. I have to stay within twenty feet of him. It's Keth, Dad, right. not Keith. Keth, Keth. I'm sorry. There's no I. I'm sorry, Keth. Yes. What would you like to do? But I just stay within twenty feet of you or of your butt. Well, <laughs> well. Kind of gross, Dad. He, I guess do not draw attention to his condition. Since everybody is mad at me for splitting the party. Yeah, more like you split your butt from your body. Hey oh! Alright, okay, I'm sorry. I'll it's go just... to the right one with Summer. Alright, everybody goes to the right room. And like I said, you look down below and you see this sort of like uh everything's kind of carved into the ground. Oh, I would like to make an arcana check. Go for it. Sixteen. It's definitely some kind of weird magic, but you're not exactly sure what kind. You've never seen anything like this before. I would like to discern if it is a puzzle. Uh, yeah, roll it. What am I rolling? I don't know. Intellect check. Yeah, that sounds right. Oh! oh! <laughs> all right, well done. Uh, yeah, it's a puzzle, all right. <laughs> well done. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. yeah well, well, was it. I think it's a puzzle. Did it, did it correlate with the hallways on, on the roof? When you well, when you look at the roof, it's um, I kind of by pointing up, I made that mistake. You're looking down from where you are. You see down, and it looks almost like a maze. And uh, as you're staring down there, it looks like a tiny, minuscule dungeon. And you notice that there looks to be a tiny cleric, a tiny fighter, a tiny rogue, and a tiny weird wizard. Cheerfully, they're slogging their way through the tiny dungeon. It's really cute. Ooh, dungeon within a dungeon, Grandpa. And right lying here. on the stone floor outside this little dungeon are several carved wooden figurines. <laughs> A green dragon, an ogre, a spider, and a zombie. Wait, aren't those us? Hold on, hold on. I will leave the room. Someone tell me if, if uh, I leave here. You can already tell just by watching it that they seem to be doing their own thing. So even though you're all in a room together, they are man maneuvering through this dungeon. You notice them get to the end? When they get to the end, they look around as if they're confused. And they pop on one side of the dungeon and start the whole thing over. What? Do we need to shout at them which way to go? You also notice that there are several small treasure chests inside. Well, I pick up one of the small treasure chests. All right, chests. you take five lightning damage as your hand touches its side. Meat face! Meat face! <laughs> That's concerned me. <laughs> Mistakes were made! I rage! I throw a javelin at the tiny people. All right, go ahead. <laughs> oh, man! Well, they didn't do meat face, it's a little reactive. <laughs> God, this is uh, just like a, a 12 to hit? All right, just like... Uh, as with most dealings with inferior life forms, it's to best to put these itty bitty assholes out of their misery once and for all. As soon as you do that, the door opens to the next room, and uh, one of the tiny treasure chests pops open. Oh. You gonna pick it up? Yeah. All right, you reach in, and you have a tiny wand, and you read the tiny script on the side, <laughs> and it's a tiny wand of magic missiles. Should we give that to the wizard? All right, you start picking your teeth with it. <laughs> uh, Meat face knows what he's doing. <laughs> Wait, you know, that, shouldn't uh, you be giving that to the wizard? It's a toothpick. Or cleric. It's pretty sure it's a tiny wand. So did he kill whistles. the people Morty, down below? Oh yeah, they're dead. all dead. He smashed them flat. Uh, they're fucked up. Dead. It's clear. One of them's like gripping where their leg used to be, and it's like oh. screaming in this tiny voice, and then they bleed out slow, real slow, agonizing. 
Ew, gross. Yeah, it really mm -hmm. is. Yeah. All right. So powerful, meat face. Uh, oh no. I yeah, there's, oh, shit. there's one room ahead of you. You, you, prob you probably shouldn't go there. I'm gonna go there. <laughs> is that the Morty, one? come on, come I, on, be a, be a pal. Is that the one that I heard? I'm from? gonna no. go there. I would like to do my thing. It's too late, he's opening the door. Come on, that was a good roll. <laughs> All right, you open the door, it's not trapped. The There's another door ahead of it, down a small hallway. What? Well, I'm gonna, um... I'll go through it. Well, I... Hold on, what door Can did... I stealth through the hallway? Okay, the door you came in is at the back. Ahead of you was another door out. Did you open that door? No, the, I, I opened that door. When I killed the, the small... Oh, yeah, that's the door. That's the door that opened, yes. Okay, okay, that, and that's yeah. all I wanted to know, yeah. And right, I, so yeah, the second door, you go through the second door. Yes. Sorry, right. Jerry, it's, this is a role-playing game, and they're role-playing. Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah. It's... More, do you want to help me by stepping Alrighty. in? That's fine, I'll do it myself. I, I really hate that you guys did this to me. Everything in this odd-shaped room is white. The walls, the floor, the ceiling, everything that is except the four doors and a stressed-looking lady seated at a cheap desk writing furiously on paper. Or how about parchment, whatever. And she's got an inkwell and a quill pen. How's that for immersion? A second after the door is open, the room elongates until it's a hundred feet long. I go back into the old room. I, I want to investigate to see if there's a, a temple of a golden chicken. Yeah, roll it. Right. That's a, that's a, I think it's a perfectly logical thing to do in this, situa in this situation. I, can I assist in his? Yeah, 21. Of course. What am I rolling? Perception. Eight. Um, 18. All right, the two of you look around. And you see a small temple with a chicken on top. Golden chicken. Okay, I try and find the room that looks like ours and, and map out where how to get to the golden chicken, thinking that this might be a smaller version of the of the dungeon we're in. You take a look around, doing some like some number crunching because that's kind of a thing you do because you're a smart meat face. Not in character, but in real life. Yeah, okay. okay. And, and you, meat and you're, face, and you, we all know you're smart. Everybody knows. Yeah. Everybody knows everything about you because you're a close family friend and always have been. And so... Remember you, last week when we went bowling? That was a great time, actually. No, yeah. I don't remember that. <laughs> what do you mean? You, you were the one that got that spare, remember? I kept saying, like, yeah. oh, spare me the news, Morty. Yeah, and then Meatface showed you how to curve the ball, and you got a strike next time. It was good times. Morty, we were there for, like, five hours. Anyway. Summer nearly uh, bowled a 300. She did. Nobody knew she was a secret league. I was so of proud of you. Thanks, League Dad. involving bowling. So, so me. anyway... <laughs> You take a look okay. around. After a little bit of number crunching, you can tell 100% this is not the same dungeon. Mm. Am I still in the white room? Or? Yeah, you're in the white room, and you see there's this one lady stuck behind a desk, and she looks to be scribbling on that parchment. Can I talk to the lady? Yeah, totally. Hey, lady. She looks up. I you. knock an arrow, just in case. Alrighty. It's, well, let's not assume. That. Not doing anything. I'm she just... looks up at you, okay. and she says, oh, no, you're not supposed to be here yet. Yet? Where are we? This room isn't finished yet, and Rick hired me to finish it up. What? So, can I what? show you back? What's I, this I'm, room I'm writing for? what this room is, okay? What is, it, what is it? Like, do you have any idea? Yeah, I have some ideas. I'm what, sorry. What are they? You you put in a pretend ghost writer to write your own room. Whoa, 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 whoa. Morty, Morty. Okay, whoa. All right, before you start attacking me, the DM, this is just a game, all right? This, is, this isn't real, okay? It's all game, but yes, I hired someone, and just like you, her life depends on this game. Okay. What do you mean our lives depend on this game? Well, if you die in the game, you die in real life, Morty. When, I run I, in. No, me face. Wait, you can't be wait. Serious. I just pull back my arrow and point it. I say, "What are you doing to this room? You are going to make a temple of the golden chicken. Make the temple of the golden chicken. All right. You wanna you wanna try for a uh, intimidation check? Yeah. I'll While I roll on this D12 chart. I'm nine. <laughs> All right, All right, nine. Intimidation assistance is mm. at nine. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got the one I wanted the first shot. All right. Even my beard's excited. Okay. <laughs> I got the one I wanted. Ah, oh, all right. Okay. All right, and you are... <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, you're poisoned for two rounds. Oh. Uh, as she scribbles something on the page, and a big butt appears in the wall and farts all over you. Oh. <laughs> that summer got farted on. What, what is this, Family Guy? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Anyway, you're left, you're left retching for two. We can't. <laughs> left retching for two rounds. I'm being sick. 
Yeah, that's how I feel when I watch Family Guy too. All right. <laughs> Where were we? Grandpa Rick, gross. <laughs> oh, Listen, that's just how it works, okay? I didn't write the dungeon. Can this she bot is, go to Morty? She is writing the dungeon. No, it doesn't go to oh. Morty because you're the one that was talking shit. I, I, All right. Now, Morty, you're going to get something too. What? No. Right. But some are already. Wow, you get the same trap. All right. <laughs> what? I'm sick of butts. A butt appears next to you. It looks oh. a lot like yours, and then it farts. Oh, jeez. You're blinded for two rounds. What? It's a spicy one, Morty. Oh, it's yeah. rough. Oh, 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 oh it's in the eyes. You can seat. taste it, Morty. You got it's pink eye. <laughs> you got it. Anybody else got any smart words for the lady no. writing? I... It's not even real, and I can taste it. What are you going to do? Can I have some eye holes? What? <laughs> Tasty eye holes. It's a, it's a treat. It's like a cereal. Me fit. You know what? Brilliant. Yeah, another. Uh, she scribbles and a box appears in front of you. God damn it! All right, what were you? I I would just like to ask. It's tough to ask over the sound of her retching <laughs> and him like grabbing his eyes and screaming. You know. Dad, can does. you um, help me? Wait, I, am I in pain? Uh, yeah, it burns. I mean, you're blind. I would like to cast a prestidigitation to turn the farts into non-smelling like farts. All right, one round down. We'll take one round off of your stinky <laughs> fart problem. And so it'll only be one round of being blinded and only one round, which is already done. Wait, are we well rolling initiative at all? Or are we Not fine? yet. Uh, let's so am I good or like... You're good. Thank you, Not Thank you Dad. Attack the omnipotent apparent woman. Um, miss... What? I'm very busy. All I would ask of you, please... Why do you do this thing with your hand when you talk? You've been doing I, it the entire dungeon. I'm, it's weird. It's... I'm... Affluent? Is that what you're about to say? Because that's what I'm writing it. <laughs> no. I'm... Go ahead and say it. I wrote it. You're going to say it. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm listening. Go ahead and roll a persuasion check for me. <sighs> Eighteen. You actually see a portion of the room get smaller as she listens to what you say. What do you say to her? All I ask, uh, dearest, dearest maiden. My name's Doris. Doris, dearest Doris. Did you just try and malady her? I. God, it's, Dad. It's a, I've heard worse. It's Go a ahead. Character thing. It's. Could you please return my son's butt? No. Could there's you tell us, room. There's could, another room for Could that. you at least tell us where the butt is? Yeah. Not the golden chicken? You notice that she seems to be more <laughs> listening to what you say, but she still seems like she's going to be a problem. Maybe you'd have to continue convincing her. Who knows? Oh, um, we are in what I believe to be a skill check. Use you would be it. absolutely correct <laughs> if you weren't a moron, Jerry. No, I'm kidding. You're actually correct. So she is going to... Hold on. I've got to find the... i got to... Gotta find the. See what you're making me do. See what you're making me do. Look what um, you made me do. Uh oh, wait. Oh, okay. She says to you, "You seek the." Ma oh, sorry, I, I gotta do the character voice. You mm -hmm. seek the man with two butts. Look, yeah. I can't help it. Rick made butts a thing in this. I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Someone. Took my butt and has a second butt? No, no, no. He has the answers to get your butt back. So he just had to. Where's the second one? Are they. Is it like a front back situation? Like a side side? I'm situation? only writing this room, so. Son, be calm. This butt mancer will hurt us if we don't. Butt mancer? Do her name is Doris, Dad. Yeah, my. Yeah, my name seriously, is. she has a name, Dad. Yeah, well, I don't. I don't do right, Stop objectifying here. I only and write then, the butts because he tells me to write the butts, okay? I'm a better writer than this. I don't need this. And she pulls up in the last drawer and she pulls up some scotch and she drinks, and you notice it's already like three fourths gone. And she drinks about the last of it and throws the empty bottle in and shuts it and oh. continues writing. I'm Probably sorry, looks a little Rick familiar. is doing this to you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Rick is doing this to you. Yeah, we, we are all both sorry. Can you please help us find my brother's butt? I, I, I can, I, I, I'm telling you, it's further in, and it is... It's further in the butt? I yes. think he means in the dungeon. It's further in the dungeon. Is this whole dungeon a butt? <gasps> she, she looks around for a second, she's like, I, I actually can't remember oh which God, room it's I in. I hope not. But I know, it's, I know it's somewhere around here. Well, then I we, know will, you're not far. we will trek backwards. Uh, see, I can't let you do that, because if you, if, if you try to leave, he told me I gotta, I gotta make this an interesting room, so... Where is the Temple of the Golden Chicken? 
Thank you, Meek Face. What temple of the golden chicken are you talking about? The There's... one that has cursed my ancestors. Well, I didn't read your backstory coming in. It was like 12 pages long. Oh, man, that was his. Were you the guy with the axe? Yeah. Get yeah, deeper in. Okay. Okay. First off, 12 pages of fun and adventure. Yeah, sure, if you like days of our lives. That's, you know... <laughs> Dad, don't you watch that show? He does. It's... Every day. There's not... There's not a lot That's to... a date night for you and Mom? Oh, God. There's not a lot Could you guys leave me alone or try, try to like get out of this room or something so I can like write some things? Grandpa okay. Rick, you said there were doors. Okay. You said there were doors Grandpa in here. Grandpa Rick, so what? there's four doors? Um, uh, oh. How many uh, doors? I'm just gonna... There's, there's three doors other than the one you came in. Okay, I'm gonna go through the middle. As you start going that way, the room stretches. And as it stretches, she creates another obstacle for you. Ah, oh, jeez. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> is it more butts? No, it's not. A, it's not. It's a butt, isn't a it? A goblin emerges from a trap door and punches you right in the groin. What? <laughs> Morty! You make a dexterity saving throw or take some, take some damage in the old boys. Man, that is a roller coaster every time. <laughs> what, what, what are we looking at there, Morty? What are we looking at? Dexterity? Yeah. Eight. Eight. Eight to save. Eight to save. Enjoy your eight damage of getting punched in the groin. But I didn't take any yeah. damage for losing my butt. No, no damage for losing your butt. You're fine. Punch in the groin is different, Morty. That's science. I can explain I, it to you, but we'd be here all night. Out of retaliation, I knock an arrow and I attack the goblin. All right. Uh, well, by the time you go to attack, you notice it disappears back through a trap door, which immediately vanishes, leaving no opportunity for counterattacks, as is written here. I would like to proceed to the door, checking for traps. As you start to head towards the door, the room stretches again. Jerry, no, we have to go backwards. She said so. We have to go to the right door. No, you notice that as you try to head towards the room you left through, it also stretches in that direction. It appears she's trying very hard to do her job. She told us to leave and come back. Yeah, but she changed her mind. <laughs> I right. hate puzzles. I rage. I throw a javelin at her. <laughs> All right, here we go. I need everybody to roll... Everybody to make a dexterity saving throw. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, that's real strong. Oh, shit. Dirty 20. Dirty 20, you're fine. Two. You're fucked, all right. <laughs> Nine. Nine, you're fucked, okay. Six. Still fucked, all right. 18. Damn. How nimbly do I dodge this trap? <laughs> a bunch of portals open under everybody, and she puts you at the back of the room, right where you started. Hmm. Dad, Except for you right and Summer, who both dodge oh. elegantly out of the way. If that's oh, what hey. you want to hear, you, you dodge affluently. Bit of a daddy-daughter trip going on here. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. You, you do we one of these moment, numbers Dad, and you don't get out of the that's, way. Oh, all right. I'm... And she looks and she's like, you can't leave until I'm finished making this room, okay? I'm trying to make it really interesting. Nobody puts meat face in the corner. I run and I throw the jab on <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll. <laughs> Wait, we're in a portal? You, you went through a portal and it put you at the back of the room. What? So where you were about to leave, put you back in the middle. So how? Um, uh, was that a? Was that a? Twenty-four. Was it a natural? No. All right. Hold on. No awe. Let me look at her stats. She's very powerful. She is ridiculously powerful. She's got these stats. I have never had to look them up before. They're what is it? Commoner. It's really serious stuff. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your damage. I don't know if you're gonna get through this. <laughs> Nine points. Oh, oh. man, you, she, the innocent rider who's just trying to do my bidding gets absolutely impaled through the mouth and sticks oh, to the wall behind no. her. She scrambles at it and then falls dead. Well done, Meat Face. Yes. Saves me a paycheck, all right. Yeah. Wait, can, that, I, can I You weren't going to pay her? Body? Yeah, of course you can loot her body. Morty, <laughs> this is Dungeons the Dragon. That's what it's all about, robbing the dead. What? Okay. The Writer's Guild so. is going to have your ass. No, they're not. I already fucking paid them. <laughs> okay, so that's Dirty 20. Dirty 20, you take a look around. Let's see here. You find an empty flask. I'll take that. We're, we're you find an empty flask and a torn in half English degree. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, I go over to the page she was writing in and I write, the room became the temple of the golden chicken. You write that and nothing happens because you're not part of a writer's guild. Get sanctioned, you son of a bitch. Ah. Alrighty. 
Wait, hold on. I have I have gold. I can probably pay my way in right now. All right, you want to you want to do that? Yeah, right, sixty-seven like gold. How much does it cost to get in? Sixty-seven gold. Sounds okay. Good. All right. Boom! Suddenly, this entire room changes, and the paid parchment that you could write on goes away. For this room is now the temple of the golden chicken. And I and, and from now on, when I say golden chicken, I'm gonna pull my beard down like that for dramatic effect, cause it really works. The golden <laughs> chicken. All right. So. Oh, that's what. Okay. That's a thing now. It's a thing. It's a, let me have this thing. You get lots of things, Jerry. Let me have this thing. I've... And that's the way the news goes. All right. So next up, you see three doors other than the one you entered. But wait, this is the temple of the golden chicken. Right, right. It's there. Ah, uh, how do I avenge my ancestors and remove this curse from me? Well, you see two big metal wooden doors leading inside. What do you do? I choose the right one. All right. You open up the right one. And, uh, and as you open it up, you see before you a sight you haven't seen in years. The temple of the golden chicken. Everywhere you see little golden inlaid eggs and, and, and chickens. Mostly chickens, but there's a few eggs here and there scattered around, you know, trying to make it tasteful. To, like, get the whole chicken experience. And at the end, behind two big yolks pressed against the wall in pure gold. At the bottom, you see a podium that stretches up into the golden chicken, the one, the only. It looks at you and it says in the tongue you haven't heard in years. <laughs> it immediately flicks its wings up and battle begins. And yes, you are, you sure you didn't are you sure you didn't steal this from Family Guy? Listen, it just, just like, it, it's the same since I've done everything, okay? If somebody, I've stolen from somebody, I've stolen from them, a roll. Initiative? Or? Yeah, initiative, Jesus. Nine. You're gonna get me in trouble, somebody's gonna sue. Fifteen. Right. Fifteen. Ten. Ten. I got a natural twenty. Dad. Oh, wait, wait, you got a fifteen, is that right, me face? Yeah. Ten? No, fifteen. I got a ten. You got a, you got ten. All right? I got a nine. You got a nine, all right. Mom, you okay there? I got a natural 20. Oh! Ah! Ah! Why didn't you yell? <coughs> I did. Oh, we, oh. we were getting to it. It's all right. All right, Jerry, what'd you get? 11. 11. God damn it. All right. Like nine. <laughs> Wait, where are you? where's Jerry? Oh, there he is. I'm sorry, I put you way down the page so I wouldn't have to look at your stupid name. All right, <laughs> so, let me roll for the chicken. All right. That means that, Beth, you're going first. You see the chicken raise its wings in a very elegant display of anger. Um, I'm going to run up to it. You're right. And just slap it and cast inflict wounds. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Mom! Get on it. Are we I got a 10. You swing, and this chicken is real cool. Like, we're talking like probably some levels of monk. It just, <laughs> on slow motion right past you, and your, your hand just goes a little bit wide. Just a little bit wide. Just a little bit. Pretty close. All right. Next in line. Meat face. <laughs> I will charge it, and I will go after it with my, uh, my axe. All right, meat face, I believe in you. Uh, Meat Face, I never really question you, but why are we fighting this golden chicken exactly? <laughs> to avenge my ancestors! Uh, uh, I didn't read his backstory, I can't help you. <laughs> he told uh, us his backstory at Trivialism. Come on. 13. Oh, to yeah, hit. you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, what was that? 13. Yeah. Rude. 13 to hit. You swing at your great axe, but this chicken knows all your moves. It's seen everything you've done, and it says, <laughs> And I will say, Not this day, and I will. I don't have that yet. That's second. <laughs> well, maybe, it, maybe after our break in the middle, you might have that. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe, the, maybe the revenge for the chicken. I will break it in the middle. All right. <laughs> Wait. What? I don't understand. Why exactly were you fighting this chicken meat face? Morty, rude. He told us yeah. all about this last night. Yeah, oh, trivia. Well, we all heard about it. He explained about the I'm... chicken. It was a very emotional time. Is there something wrong, Morty? Why don't you just get off your chest? What's going on? You know what? Mm -hmm. I'm sick of it. I have never seen this man in my life. I've never heard of Meat Face. What kind of a name is Meat Face? You don't even have meat on your face. I mean, you have skin just like the rest of us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Morty, yeah, Morty, you need to calm little, down. We need to be a little more a little sensitive. Little no, Morty. no, Rick. You listen to me. Okay. Listen right. to me good. All right. I don't trust any of 
you guys. I'm not even sure you're my real family right now because you're all spouting out memories that I don't remember. Are you are you assimilation, Morty? No, I think you are. I, Morty, I Morty. roll a kill meat face. Oh, 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 God, Morty. oh, no. Oh, Morty, 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 calm down, Morty. Calm you gotta calm down, down, Morty. Ass down. Uh, you know what? Go, go, forward, go ahead and roll it, Morty. I'm gonna roll it. Go ahead and roll it, Morty. I can't hold him back or anything. You can't hold him back. He's doing this too quick. It's all, all right. this madness up there. The all chicken's right. confusing everybody. I wait for it. I roll. I'll wait for it. I, 13. 17 to hit. Does that hit you, meat face? We can roll some damage, Morty. Hey. Right. My AC right. is a okay. 17. You know what's brutal about this? It's a sneak attack, too, Morty. Because he's sandwiched by it the is. chicken. It is. It's a sneak attack. And hold on. Hold on. What? Uh, I thought I had another thing I could use. Do I? No? Well. You're, you're level one. <laughs> Shit. Morty. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it. Morty! Yeah, I believe in you, Morty. <laughs> just, just stop saying you're going to do it and do it. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ain't got the sand. <laughs> Second die, so you get an automatic four, and then you roll and add the what you get. You're, you're not. You only get one. Yeah, you only get one. You one only get one. Whatever. <laughs> Don't chide me. Four. Face. Eight, Eight. Ten. Ten. Fifteen. Fifteen damage. Me face. Me face me goes face. the hell down. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. In your face, I loot his body. Hold on. I actually need to do math. Wait. Wait. I'm loving the bloodlust, Morty, but you gotta give him a second. I'm auto dead. <laughs> this is the greatest game I've ever played! Hey. <laughs> Meat face goes down! Wait! No. Meat face is toast! Right. No. No. Am I dying? Am I dying? Oh. Marty, look what you did! There's a pain in my chest! We just got him uh, back! We don't no, know him! Wait, wait, wait. We, we, gotta hear his, we gotta hear his last words! We gotta hear his we last words! We just got him back! We gotta hear his last words! What do you mean? Here, here we go. What is your last words, Meat face? With the pain in my chest, from the dagger that you stabbed me with, Morty, you were always my favorite. Oh, hell no, I died, bitch. <laughs> and then he falls dead. Blood pulling under him. I don't know you. Remember to use your rage. <laughs> and those are his last words, Morty. You killed him. You killed the one man who cared about you. How could you do this, Morty? What? You're standing over his broken what? body that you destroyed in a fit of rage. No, Even what? the chicken's looking at you like you're some what? kind of fuck. What? Morty, what? I hate you so much right now. You're such a... Why would you do that to Meatface? Well, I just... Meatface! He's, he's your godfather. <laughs> you hear... You trusted him more than any other member of the family. No, no, no. I don't trust any of you fuckers. I'm loading all your... I'm... I knock an arrow and aim it at Morty. <laughs> oh, oh, there's an arrow aimed at you now, Morty. Oh, what are we... Uh, oh, things are getting crazy. I and as things continue to get crazier, oh. finally the chicken raises its wings and says, Enough! <laughs> Um. Enough from all of you. This was not what I wanted. Meat face and I share a history that was given to me. Yes, we know the history. Bring him back. I don't know. Morty! If you don't mind, just, you know, telling us. Why were you paying attention to Trivia Night? Hmm? You should have been paying attention to Trivia Night. When Meat face Christ. Went. Um, out. The You're chicken brings up a salient You're a point. golden chicken. Just tell us. Just speed it along. Come on. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. We don't go all day. I will take this one in honor of my temple and raise him as my warrior, and you can have his brother. And the door opens up and out walks. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Beat Face. Beat Face! Beat Face? You've got to be kidding me. Yes, I'm here. To beat the faces in of all of our enemies. Uh, Morty, yeah. he taught you how to walk. Oh, beat face. So late, I uh, cannot. All right, beat face. All right. right. 
the chicken goes, oh, I like you a lot better than I like Meat Face. Me and you were cool, just so you know. We were always cool. <laughs> I, I for one, welcome the curse upon our family bestowed upon the Temple of the Golden Chicken. Well, yes. Bagar. Bagar. And at that, he raises his wings over Meat Face, and Meat Face's <laughs> body turns to gold and ash. It's really, really mystifying and beautiful. And it's really sad because it's all Morty's fault. Morty killed him. Morty killed him in cold blood because Morty couldn't handle the fact that Meat Face. Can I loot his body? Yeah, yeah, you can loot his body. I would like to use mm, Mage Hand. Womp, womp, womp. You reach around in his stuff and you remember just as you go to pick up his purse that he spent all 67 gold on the temple. Tough luck, kid. I would like to use Mage Hand to gather his ashes. All right, you've got a big old pile of ashes. Let's go see what you're going to do with this. There's 92 silver. Oh, yeah, you find you find nothing, Morty, because you roll a one, Morty. You don't get anything. You don't deserve it, Morty. Learn to roll. Even Jerry doesn't roll ones. All right, Morty. All right, Jerry, what are you doing? I would like to uh, wow. raise his ashes up. All right. And um, say something in my uh, family tongue. Sure, meaningless. Okay, grains. go ahead. And a grand gesture and send Meat Face on to the next life. You realize there is no next life, right? Like, when he's dead, he's dead. There's no, but there's no Grandpa after Rick he's said, let's have this. Where. All right, fine, you can have it, fine. It All was right. Meat Face. When he goes on to the afterlife that exists in only Dungeons and Dragons, then he feels a little bit better because you sent him off and because he's Meat Face. So, that's very he's a good guy. mature of you, Dad. Anyway, there's three Thank doors. You. Thank you for joining me on this. What are y'all doing? Um, Trying not to kill my little brother. I would like to go in the left one. I would like to check for traps on that left door. I see you're very different from your brother. <laughs> we never really got along. That's a that's a dose. That's a it's dose. not in the box. Not All right, in the box fine. All right, we're going by D four rules. <laughs> is that a three over there, Jerry? Is that what that is? You get one higher. You feel a lot better about yourself, now, Jerry. We're all real impressed. I'm very impressed. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, you got triple what Morty you. got, so that's something. I'm rooting for you. That's because Beat thank Face you, is a face. joy and a treasure. Uh, but, eight. Uh, eight. An eight. <laughs> you take a look at the door. Not trapped. I don't think it's trapped, Beat Face. Well, I do believe ladies first. No, I still have to go ahead. Thank you. All right, go oh. ahead and roll. Roll that stealth. I, I love it when you. this family. Natural 20 oh! All right, you, you immediately disappear, and you go through the door before anybody else does. Inside, you find a horde of ugly-looking goblins wearing yellow shirts and blue pants crowding this room. They're these little munchkin things. I, I don't know. I never even gave them names, but they're, they're real annoying little pieces of shit. Repeating the same pattern and spouting undermining nonsense we try to get work done, all underpinned with teenage self-image fragility and minuscule attention spans born from what I can only assume is a life completely unexplored while simultaneously devoid of any real stakes. Uh, also, they say, oh, jeez, a lot. Too much. <laughs> oh, jeez. A glass case sits on the far side of the room next to another door, but there are way too many stupid little goblins in the way for you to see it clearly. I'm going to speak to them in goblin, natural tongue. <clears throat> all right. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, oh no! Oh jeez! Oh no! Oh no! Oh jeez! Oh, 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 That's not about well, you. These are goblins, Morty. It's completely different. Morty, where's, that go, where's, where's his you? cheek? Where's his cheek? I can't see. I do not sound like that. Uh, he still has. A, you can't see his cheek because you can't see him at all. Okay. Man, you, know, you know, judging by the way he's dressed, maybe he got lost in this crowd of goblins that oh, look okay. suspiciously okay. like him. Okay. I, I want that. Uh, can, I'm trying to make. Uh, can you can you move for that little box over there? As you say that, they're like, oh, jeez, oh, 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 I don't know about this, oh, jeez. Do it. They, uh, <laughs> they, what, 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 you, when you ask, when you say do it, they look at you and say, are you sure it's a good idea? I, I wouldn't do that. Do it. Oh, uh, you should think this through. If, if you get this wrong, you'll probably die. Meh. All right. <clears throat> do they move? Nope, they just seem to be all in the way. You're gonna have to push through them. All right, push through them. Alrighty. I would like to assist. As you Thank guys you. come into the room, the door slams shut behind you. Ooh, Ooh, real spooky. And five gems sit in a case. Blue, green, red, yellow, and purple. Next to the case, three conveniently gem-sized sockets are cut into the stone wall. I bet these things are related, huh? 
I, uh, it's blue, green, red, yellow, and purple. Uh, I would like to investigate the walls, see if I can find any clues. You take a look around at the walls and you can go ahead and make an investigation check. <laughs> what, what tiny number did you get this time, Jerry? How, how funny is it going to be this can time? Can I help him? Uh, no, yeah, I want to yeah. see him fail. Go ahead. It's, it's a one. It's a one. You go around and you're so caught up in trying to make sure all the little goblins are feeling right feeling good about themselves, you're so busy trying to be somebody that you could never possibly be, no matter how hard you try, or how hard you work, or how what do you give them, you couldn't even bribe them. And you're so busy trying doing that, that the world around you is continuing without you. And you're just stuck there, looking like an idiot while you're trying to talk to people that couldn't talk back, because they're not intelligent enough to know what you're talking about in the first damn place. How do the goblins feel, Rick? Uh, do they I, feel better? I don't know, I didn't write that. So... <laughs> But you don't seem like you get any sort of idea of what's going on with that puzzle. Maybe you just have to try shit, I don't know. I would like to take one of the gems and place it into one of the sockets. All right, which color? Red. I'm colorblind. <laughs> All right. I grabbed the red one. All right, you grab one, the red two, one. Three, four, and you grab the purple one. <laughs> All right, there's one gym left to put in. You both put them in. You get in as you're going through. You kind of filter through all the goblins who are like, oh, jeez, oh, I don't know about this. Oh, oh. This is my worst nightmare. This is ridiculous. I yeah, I know. It really is. It really is. Oh, jeez, Rick. All right. <clears throat> so you put two in. There's still one left to put in. What are you doing? I will pick up the green one and put it in. I can't believe this. You actually got it right. The door opens. <laughs> Wow. Huh. The two remaining gyms destroy, and the gob goblins all wither and die as a testament to never questioning one's grandfather. Anyway. Uh, uh, you you okay, must always you respect your elders. Damn right you should. Thank you, Beatface. Well, it's Beatface after all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You Shall we continue forward? It looks like there is yeah, a door I'm... on your right and a door on your left that you have not explored so far. Well, I I'm... picked the left door. All right, are you checking, checking it for yeah. traps? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Twelve. You take a look around. Smell it. Don't smell like a trap. Can I also check for traps? You sure can, Morty. Mm. Mm. I've been waiting for this. Hey, hey, you over there off camera? I've been waiting for this. We've both been waiting for this next moment that's about to happen. We, we've been waiting for this, I promise you. It's gonna be great. All right. Five. Yeah, door's fine. <laughs> door's great. Probably the safest door you've ever seen. <laughs> you go in it? I trust him. I'll go in. All right, you push <clears throat> open the door. It opens slow. You hear a click as it hits a rock and scatters down the road. And it you continue opening the door, and it looks like there's an innocuous looking teal cube that sits on a pedestal in the middle of this room. Atop the cube is an inviting button. Engraved on the back of the pedestal is a sentence none of you can read no matter how hard you try. I air Jordan jump and I smash that button. Ah, Mr. Macy's! Look at me! <laughs> and this is what happens. You see one of these big blue things with a tuft of orange hair kind of pop out beside you. What do oh, you say to it? Oh, uh, Mr. Macy's, um... Where's the end? Take us to the end of the dungeon. Can't do. All right, he goes taking a run out the door, <laughs> and he is out it. Uh, I follow. You I go follow. to look down the hallway, and he is long gone. Oh. Hey! Oh. <laughs> he was uh. just way too fast. Way too fast. Way too gumptious. Um, you hear what sound? Boom! Another one pops out. <laughs> I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Kill Summer. <laughs> Can do! I can't. <laughs> Alright, it comes over at you and tricks a swing. Alright. I would like to cast well, mage armor on Summer. Okay. Can you cast that on somebody else? I think that's self only. Uh, I guess we're doing wait. this. Uh, what are you, bastard? I don't trust anyone in this creature. family. Does a nine hit you? No, I'm 13 armor. Uh, me six comes up and goes, can do, and swings and goes wide, and he looks over at you and says, 
That shirt you're wearing's hideous. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. <laughs> and you take two psychic damage <laughs> as he kills your image of yourself. I spent a lot on this top. I should have been more specific. I would like the to. The button's still there. I would like to press the button. I, Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. Just kill Morty. Mr. <laughs> Can't do. Damn it. He <laughs> runs over and immediately attacks Morty. What? No. Does an 18 hit your AC? What do you think, Rick? What do you think? I don't know, Morty. I'm just you a DM. I just ask some questions, Morty. You 18 isn't going to hit me. I roll. You take three points of bludgeoning damage. Get Slaughter shit Slaughter him! Well, guess oh, what? Love, 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 guess love. what? Guess what? I don't die because I have relentless endurance. So when you're reduced to zero hit points but not killed outright, you can drop to one hit point instead. Okay? So All right. I'm one hit point. I'm still alive. So suck on that. Nothing to suck. I hit the button Sorry. again. All right, another me six comes out, and the two me six look at each other, and one of them says, I'm Mr. Me six, look at me, what are you doing here? And the other one says, Well, I'm Mr. Me six, look at me, I'm killing this little boy. Oh boy, is that what I'm here for? No, nah, I yeah. didn't hit the button for you. I'm Mr. Me six, look at me. Mr. Well, okay, I'm Mr. Me six, look at me, I'm gonna see what this guy needs over here. I'm Mr. Me six, look at me, oh, problem at all. Mr. Me six, would you? Does a 10 hit your AC? No! Well, uh, it takes another swing and goes wide. Go ahead. Would you slowly take us to the end of the dungeon, please? Can do! <laughs> it's... Oh, yes. This is much better. Great, Dad. Why did you say slow? Hey, Morty. Does a 21 hit your AC? Oh, shit. <laughs> yes! You take three points of bludgeoning damage. He pops you in the mouth. You fall down? Yeah, pretty sure I'm down. If you leave him, he's gonna die! I'm Mr. Meeseeks, look at me! Disappears. I run to him. All right. Can you do a death saving throw? Not yet. I hold him up, and I look into him as he's unconscious, and I say, you shouldn't have killed Meatface. And I let him drop. <laughs> Make a death saving throw! <laughs> <laughs> Success. I hit the Me Six button again. Another Me Six pops out. I'm Mr. Me Six, look at me. Hey, buddy, where are you going? I'm Mr. Me Six, look at me. I'm moving <laughs> real slow to the end. I'm Mr. Me Six, look at me. You want some help with that? No, I think I've got it. I'm Mr. Me Six, look at me. Mr. Me Six, revive my son. Can do. He goes running over to you. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's look at these stats. These wonderful stats, wow. <laughs> out of Boy, play. they are not, they are, whoa, man. Out, uh, of, out of play, I think this is going really well for our family therapy session. I don't wanna hear it, Beat Face. <laughs> Morty? No, this, I'm, I'm Meat Face. Beat Face is I the character, beat Morty. Yep. Whatever, Meat Face, Beat Face, I don't know who you are. This isn't real life. <laughs> In real anyway. life. <laughs> anyway. Um, we, hold on, I forgot what I was looking up. Oh, I remember. <laughs> uh, Morty, one more success. Yeah. As he begins to cast, no, he doesn't cast, he begins to work on you, but as he starts working on you, he's like, I'm Mr. Meeseeks, I don't have a lot of medical ability, probably need some help. And he reaches up and pushes the button himself, and another Meeseeks pops out. I'm Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. I'm Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. I need help getting this boy back to life. <laughs> oh, can't do. <laughs> Now they're both gonna work on it. Wait, do I get a save? No, you don't, Morty, because they got a natural one. Morty! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Morty, stay down. That's two death saves. That's two okay. deaths. <laughs> and Morty, as they begin to work on you, you see the panic in their Wait, eyes. They don't really know what they're doing. <laughs> and so they begin to panic as they start working on him. And one of them says, Ah, Mr. Meeseeks, look at me, we're losing him. Ah, we need more help. They've smashed the button five more times and five more me seeks come out. I can do it myself, stop! It's too late, you're unconscious, you Morty. Stop. You can't. Make another saving throw, Morty. I, well. I'm Mr. Meeseeks, look at me! I'm Mr. Meeseeks, look at me! A two? Morty! <laughs> you're dead! You die! You die a horrible, awful death. You die at the hands of which one of you killed him? 
Oh, there you go, yeah. Summer. Hey, rock on, Summer. All right. Hey. Wow, thanks, Summer. Some therapy session. We're having uh, a good time. I, Don't I worry, actually, Morty. I actually believe it was the third me six that killed him, so this, technically the second me six is the murderer. Well, now you look around and you see that there's about eight or so me seeks in Chicken the room. Chicken before the egg. And they face. begin to start panicking as they're trying to get Morty back up. Morty, it's about this time your second character walks through the door and sees them trying to revive your first character. What is your second character's name? Beth. 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 Beth Silverson walks the in the door. The mother of Kath. The uncaring, <laughs> cruel, mean mother <laughs> who abandoned her son. And it's just coming up to clean up the scraps of left of Goldie left behind. I, th I think this is a little. Uh, <laughs> I think we're actually bit. working through some deep. No, this deep is great. Stuff. This is great. Yeah. Just let this go, Jerry. Let this go. This is hilarious. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's fine. It's funny. It's gonna. <laughs> we're getting lots of viewers. All right. Okay. So you see them all start panicking over the body. What are you doing over there? I saw you roll. Does a twelve hit you, <laughs> Beth? No. No, it what doesn't. What do you do? What are you trying to do? I'm no, it hitting doesn't. The lion, whatever your name is, lion. You liar, lion. As you go up and you swing, your fist goes past Morty. As Morty's very, very short, and you underestimate. I mean, uh, uh, Beth is very short, and you underestimate. And you swing and you smash one of the me seeks in the face. I said, La so la I ladies, ladies, you're both beautiful. As soon as you say that, the me seeks say, I think we lost him. Huh? This never happened before. I don't know what to do. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. We can't fail in a mission. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. And we failed because of you. No, I didn't fail. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. You're the one who failed. <laughs> and they begin to immediately start killing each other. Oh, oh uh, God. Well, I take scare that part. I, um. Dad? I take mean, the Dad. box. Yeah. Okay, take the box. I, I care, take I'm the box with me and um, uh, Whatever. we'll save it for a later All right. date. As you guys kind of ease out of the room, you hear what sounds like just madness and pure death and chaos in the room as they are literally ripping each other from shreds to shreds. But you notice something specific. I want everyone to make a per perception check to see who notices it. What'd you get there, Summer? Oh, no. Nah, uh, 10. All right. I'm done with this guy. All right. Five. Five. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nine. Nine. <clears throat> Fourteen. All right, the two of you seem to realize that it seems like no matter what happens to a me seeks, they don't die. So even though there's one in there just flopping around with no legs and arms going, Ah, oh, Mr. Me seeks, look at me, I'm in the worst pain of my short life! Even though that's happening, he is not dying. There's another one with his head caved in and his eye poking his eye. Ah, oh, Mr. Me seeks, existence is pain! I, but they're I, not dying. I say to the me seeks, um... Look, you did do this because you brought him back. This is clearly the same person. They look over at Beth, who is clearly the mother of, of Keth. Have you been paying any attention, Jerry? I... And they immediately say, I'm Mr. Meeseeks, don't get smart with me. I'm Mr. Meeseeks, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> and they begin crawling towards you with their limbless bodies. I move, I run, right, yeah, I, yeah, run. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. I run, I run. I think let's all, sh all go and close the door and we'll be done with this. Right. I, I, I take... Um, I take Kath's body and I make him dance and I, I want to make him look oh, like he's alive. Oh, that's loot, Kath, because I'm getting all my shit back. Kath, all right. My, my son, I don't, I don't care what he had. I bet he didn't even have anything because he sucked. He's a terrible son. That's how I feel as his mom. That's a 17 and he has performance. A weird voice. It's great. It's Whatever. Wonderful. One of the best performances you've ever put on your life. What are you performing? <laughs> okay, that's a 13. Do I get my money? You get your stuff life? back, yeah. It's, okay. it's a weekend at Kath's. Oh, yeah, you're <laughs> yeah, the body. Too bad there's no alcohol. I as you're robbing the body, you notice that the pockets are getting higher. As you like raise your body up and try to figure out what's happening, Beat Face over there has picked up <laughs> Kath's body and is making it dance. And to be honest, even though it's really disrespectful, Probably one of the best dances you've ever seen in your entire life. It's really, really nice. God damn, I gotta give you props, Beat Face. <laughs> Don't look at me! It's Kath that's got the moves. Yeah, <laughs> Kath, do it! Wow, the one time anyone in this party actually likes Kath is when he's dead. Uh, yeah. Actually, I thought Kath was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Mr. Meeseeks, look at me! You hear him through the door, I'll kill you! I'm Mr. Meeseeks, look at me! Oh, uh, no, I want to, to show them. Oh! That he's alive. You open up the door. <laughs> That's the whole point. Okay, you're trying to convince them. That <laughs> yes. <laughs> you you rolled the performance to make him dance lifelike. 
So the door opens, and like, ah, oh, Mr. Meeseeks, I, and they all at once go, ooh, and they all disappear. Huh. You woke And then one pops up, and he's like, I'm a stickler, Meeseeks, make a pirouette. I need another performance check. All right. I will assist. All right, um, go ahead. And help. <laughs> <laughs> No way! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you two are serious? You both? I, I can sit here and explain the math to you the how difficult it is to roll two ones at once. What? From two different people. <laughs> Here's what happens. You're like, I can do a pirouette. He's like, I can help. And you start trying to go. You start twisting. And you literally rend his body in half. From the top to the bottom. His innards spill out. And the Meeseeks like, hey, Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. My God, this is fucked up. <laughs> well, may you live a life of pain for your stickler ass holiness. And I'll close the door. <laughs> that, was, that was terrible. Yeah, terrible hate. people. Oh, man, beat face. I don't All know right. if we can get over this. My son. <sighs> my son. What have I... I'm gonna have the terrible dreams about this. Me face, you can sleep in my bed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, Jerry. I mean, I'm um, sorry. It's um, important that Beat Face feel comfortable. Does anyone time. here have Cheers. any alcohol? Yes. I do. Oh, you've been in game. I don't know. Yes, I had this empty flask, and Beth is thirsty. Okay. Right, you want to fill it with? There's a lot of Meeseeks blood. <laughs> no, I'm good. All right. All right, there's, so there is some doors. There's a door ahead of you, uh, and there's a door behind you. Um, these are the two doors you have not gone through. Then there's also the door back the way you came. I checked the door ahead of me for the huge. <sighs> Eight. <laughs> yes, yeah, no traps. Probably, probably fine. Probably okay. I'll go through it. Oh wait, actually, there's something special about this door while you're, while you're searching it. This one's made of indestructible magic metal wood because I have that kind of power, okay? Anyway, it was one of those, it's one of those sliding peephole things in it, which is closed at the moment. I slide the peephole open. All right, let's see here. All righty, let's go ahead and roll. All right. Uh, there we go. Does a 20 hit you, Jerry? Yes, right. what? You're gonna take, <laughs> all right. Uh, 11 points of, uh, of fire damage. As you get what? smashed in the face, and as you peer through, you see what looks to be a flame skull on the other side that fired a fire ray right out the door the moment you slid it open. Like, did I get a, a save or anything like that? Yeah, it's, it's an AC thing, Jerry. Come on, a, you're down on the ground. Um, all right. Okay, I, I'm... For the rest of you, you see, all you can see through the peephole is a skeletal mouth chattering away. In a froggy voice, it says, Oh, Lordy, I'm so sorry. I, I'm just nervous. Oh, Lordy, I, I hope y'all aren't hurt or scared or discomforted or... Oh, Lordy, dead. Oh, no. I was so startled. That's okay, it was fine. The skeletal thing. Nobody gonna save me, I'm on the ground. <laughs> I'm going to save Jerry. Okay, go ahead. Mom. Thank you. The skeletal thing backs off and you can see it's just a skull yapping away. It's wreathed in flames and its eye sockets contain small orbs of fire. The room beyond the peephole is covered with hundreds of metal spikes poking out from the walls toward the center. Some of the spikes on the floor have skulls mounted on them. I've been trapped in here forever, it seems. Isn't that right, Andy? C could y'all help us? Of course. What, what was your role? I got a 19 on my medicine check to stabilize. All right, you're stabilized. You're no wow, longer really dying. Wow, Keth might have been able to use that. Whatever. Huh? Oh, you know, Keth? Hold on. We have two potions of healing, and I pour yeah. one down its throat. Oh, All right. face. Beth, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Beth. Excuse you. It's... This is... You said there were sharp fire. things in yeah, the hallway? Yeah, yeah, you look inside. I push Beth. All right. <laughs> Beth hits the still-closed door. <laughs> push her... Harder. All right, you hit the door. You I feel open it. someone behind you, Beth, pushing you into the door over and over again. Oh, good. Oh, good. They're not pushing real hard or anything. You're just kind of bouncing off the door. Can you stop? I turn and flail. All right. Whoa, hold on, ladies. Beth flails your arm off. La ladies, like I said, you're both beautiful. Uh, let's let's help this person. Um, getting, I like that. Getting back to my feet. Oh, Lordy. I would like to cast Mage Hand through the hole right. and pull the skull towards me. All right, you cast Mage Hand through the through the hole. You pull the skull towards you. Hits the door. 
Oh. We um, did before that top got ruined. Um. Did you say there was a knob on the door? <laughs> uh, the no, there is, a, there is a handle. But as you try to pull it, it feels really heavy. Oh, let me help. All right. I back away. And I get, I get right behind oh. um, Lion, and my body presses up against hers as my arms wrap around hers against right. the handle. All right. And I will assist her. I, okay. I watch. All right. <laughs> I bet you would, you cuck. <laughs> let's not, let's, let's not. Ew. <laughs> that was really gross. Beat <laughs> face. I, I, I discovered a new way I could hide my lap. <laughs> Uh, a 17. <laughs> well, that's got suggestive. All right. <laughs> All right, you start pulling the door, and you realize that it's not one that opens out. It opens oh, up, right? So you start, the two of you start pushing up on it. I've been down really low. Right, right real low, right? And I squat down with her, and I help thrust up towards right. the ceiling. Right, good, good, good. I love this. Oh okay. my god, get a room! You have to use the strength Ew, in your legs. My eyes, I can't. Beat, no, right. I can't turn away. Beat face has a good point. So the door oh god, is oh open. And as soon as Maybe that happens, from him, the skull, go, the flame I, skull casts I, I, something. And you see another skull that's trapped on a spike get lifted off with a mage hand. And he takes the skull with him. And he says, oh, Lordy, thank you. Thank you all. I really appreciate this. I, I, I've, just, I've been stuck in there for so long. And as, then he leaves. Uh, Before you go, mm-hmm. which way is the end? Oh, well, this is the dead end. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Wait, is there another door? I've been trapped in here for a long time. I mean, I got in here, and now I'm stuck. Me and Andy. Oh, you're free now. I know. Is there another door? Uh... Where you are, no, but there were other doors you could have gone through that would have maybe led to other places. Uh, all right, let's track back. All right, Wait, and as it back. passes by you, you see something fall out of its eye. Oh no, somebody better catch it. I need a dexterity acrobatics check from somebody. I'm looking at you, Beth. I'll do it. I can do but that. Yeah, Beth, you got it. I got it. I'm Beth. No, you're lying. Dirty, Stay in the game. Dirty 20. Dirty 20, you catch it falling out of, this, falling out of its eye hole. Oh, speaking of eye holes. <laughs> it looks to be a potion of some kind. And because we're not wasting time trying to figure out what it is, we're going to say it has a, something on it written on there. It's a potion of flying. Ooh. I, I pocket it. All right, you pocket it. It's yours. All right, Mine. so you hear the flame skull fly off in the distance. You hear, oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. <laughs> hey, some goblins. <laughs> As it continues on outside the dungeon, you're ah. pretty sure that all the goblins you've met on the way are probably dead now. Oh, man. Uh, hey, what can what? you say? Flame skulls are evil, and in this make believe land where evil and good are real things that affect stuff, ooh, they do evil <laughs> stuff, right? I, I'm just trying I, to follow the stupid I, rules. I do believe that bodes well for us, though. Uh, maybe. But you were at a dead end. You're probably going to have to trek back through some of the rooms you've been through to figure out where to go next. Uh, right. I like to go find the slow Meeseeks <laughs> and just see what directions he's going. All right, you head back to the direction you came. You go back through the previous room, and you go all the way back to the Meeseeks room. <laughs> I had... Oh, I, I got the box, Pete. Fast. Actually, it's just one room behind you, so you walk back into that room, and there he is on the ground, and as soon as you open the door, there's a 15 hit. No. It tries to bite you on the ankles. Wait, what are you doing? You're supposed to show us the way to the Hi, end. Mr. Macy! Oh, you, did you hit the button? No, the you one, we, we made, we, we made two, Rick. And Rick, the first one ran really fast, and then we made the other one that ran really slow, and I was going after Right, right, the, the, but they, they're... The one that ran really, really fast is gone. Yeah. The one that's run really, really slow got slaughtered in the Meeseek slaughter. And, oh. Yeah. Um, well, so there's one left, I... and he tries to bite you on the ankle as you come in. Ah, uh, Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. Come back, you son of a bitch. Oh, close the door. Uh, you hear him bashing his head against the door. Existence is pain. Well, maybe you should go to therapy for it. I'm going to bite through this door and eat your legs. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Can I press the button? Can I press the button? Yeah, you push the button. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Hi, Mr. Meeseeks. Can you please point to the direction we need to go to escape this maze? Thank you. 
Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying? I opened the door and to cast note, Sacred Flame. To note, the Mesics pointed uh, Dad. down through the door you guys came through this room originally. What's up? I opened the door and cast Sacred Flame on the one on the floor. <laughs> All right, it catches fire. What, is, happens, what happens there? It's doused in Radiant Flame. All right. And I do a D8. Hold on. Go ahead and roll it. Fuck, it's an eight. It says, Ah! <laughs> ah Mr. Me sinks, look at me! Existence is even more pain! <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's gonna it's die. Wait, it's uh, just on fire now. I, I start beating. Yeah, no. You beat it? No. Can we? You, 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 did you not hear earlier that they can't die unless they obtain their objective? I. I, I cast Ray of Frost on it. I hey, it, 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 You hit it with the Ray of Frost. Roll the damage. <laughs> you know, I think like wasting it. way too much time here. Four. I just go. It, its face you know, is all frozen up on this side. I'm Mr. Mason. Look at me. God, just let me die. Oh God, it's you, an abomination. Let's get away from it. You know what? I don't like being guilt tripped, and I smash it with my axe. <laughs> all right, go ahead. <laughs> Oh my god, this is uh, just a 22. Ah, uh, Mr. Measing, look at Plath! <laughs> just kill me! I'm trying! He <laughs> doesn't look dead, but his head is in two halves. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah, uh, Mr. Hey, Measing! More flame! Look at me! That's actually impressive. <laughs> Another four of flame. Oh, it's on fire! It's even more on fire! <laughs> Eventually, <laughs> there will be nothing left. All of one. you just pour everything you have on it. To just trying to silence it. <laughs> Eventually, there's this huddled mess of disgusting, fleshy, oh. burnt, icy, stabbed with daggers. Oh, I've seen this movie. Cla just, <laughs> just cleaved with axes. <laughs> and you're all pretty certain that if this thing's still alive, whatever it's experiencing is as far from life as it can get. <laughs> okay, I'm going to need blood samples from everyone. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Can we, just, can we like just go? Just give me some blood, no. put it on the ground, I don't care. No. Can we like just go? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go forward because I'm all the I, I leave, I run, I run. I, 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 I run. run. I go in the direction that the Mystics pointed. All right, you go in that direction. So you head back out the door you came into and you are back in the room with, um, let me see. Oh, the one with the little goblins that all died. <laughs> and that dream come true. But there's another door you didn't take in this room. It heads further in the direction that Meeseeks pointed. Doing the thing. All right, go ahead. What is it now? Fifteen. Here. No traps. No traps. Dad, would you like to go through this door with me? No, I'm going through yeah. it. I'm oh, going through it. Wait, no. she already went first. I go through it. We were having Are you trying to go moment. through? Who's trying to go through I'm first? Going next. Me. All right, me. Yeah. you and you. You both walk in. I go second to last. All right. <laughs> I I go with my daughter. Um, no, nice. you ruined it. I'm I, going. I'm going. All right. I'm, I'm going. This looks like a really nice bathroom. Decorative porcelain tiles run from floor to oh ceiling. God. The room smells clean, like freshly squeezed lemons and pine. Great. Feeling I'm gonna take a shit relaxation and call it settles over everyone who enters. Oh, Everybody out. I have summer. to pee. What? The, what? You. You're stopping the game he, so pee. He, heroes. Yes. Heroes don't use the bathroom in oh game. Oh my God. You know no, what? But mom, I have to pee. It's a biological function, meat face. Hey, get up and go, mom. Just get up and go. I can't. She's pausing therapy. Oh, really? Okay, fine. All right, we're going to take a break from therapy briefly. Just briefly. But we're at the most exciting part of the mission. Fuck the you. mundane bathroom. Super mundane. Wow. Or, or is it? it? It is mundane. Shut up, Jerry. It's the porcelain throw. That, that was really funny, meat face. <laughs> that was really good. Uh, yeah, Jerry, you should learn something. All right, we'll meet you back here in about 15 minutes. It'll be 15 minutes and three seconds. I'll be counting and I'll get it accurate. Uh, 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 synthetic beard. Oh, welcome back. Hi, my name's Rick Sanchez, and who you see at this table is my family. Of course, hey. we got Summer, we got Jerry, sadly. Hey. We got Beth, we got Morty, and of Hi. course, everyone's favorite, Meat Face. Hey. hey. So good to see you, Meat Face. I still don't know who. The hell you yeah, are. That's really funny, Morty. It's hilarious. Morty, you don't yeah. remember the time that Meat Face was like no, jumping on? No, no, Summer, I don't. I don't remember any of this he shit. He was bouncing on a trampoline with us. He's a parasite. But no. That's a rude thing to say. It really I don't is. know what you mean by that. Meat Face, <laughs> Meat Face has dipped into your college, future college fund so much out of his own personal income. To call him a parasite is... 
rude. Yeah. Unbecoming of you. And and we're I'm so sick of we're dealing family. with things in game. This is the most garbage therapy family session I have ever been to. Yeah, well, remember that time know. when you died and came back? <laughs> yeah. That's because of me. Alright, we're back. So welcome Grandpa, back to me. the Lost Dungeon of Ricked Rickedness, all right? I got big Rick energy. It's right there on the cover. I, I stole this from another dimension, another Rick. Um, I think it was, um, it's actually written on here. Uh, C, C1, it, C141. Fuck you, Rick. I got your book now. Ha! All right. When last we left off, our, our, our adventurers were in a very special bathroom. Very special. One that had a uh, tile and it's got like walls. It's nice. And when we left there, I believe Beth went to the restroom. I don't need it. Wait, I didn't go to the restroom in game. No. Oh. Real Beth went to the restroom out of game. Oh, I thought you were going in game as well. Both. Okay, we'll go ahead and roll it. You have to roll the pee. Well, you gotta, you gotta make sure you, you, you know, you gotta you this make, is, make it right. This is why heroes don't use the bathroom. It's too dangerous. All right, what'd you get? Twelve. Yeah, hey, you pee. It's fine. It's a really nice bathroom. It smells nice. Did she like hit the toilet? Yeah. She's sitting down. So that sounds like something maybe maybe your player thinks. All right. So. <laughs> All right. I would like to uh, look around this bathroom. All right. You take a look. In walks Jerry. At the end of you, you go into the bathroom. He walks right in while you're in there. Well, I, what the fuck? I would have waited. I could. I would hear. Ew, gross! I Dad, would hear her pee. The I would okay, hear her pee. All right, pain. all right. I, I accept. That I have a logical. passive perception of 15. That is enough to hear her pee. All right, that's that's. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. That's so, a little weird. Are you like listening to it's, pee it's, against the wall? It is a passive listening to pee. Okay, right, I'm not out. actively listening. Specifically. To pee. All right, like beat faces let's what? not get too caught up in the implications of the pee, okay? <laughs> you pee, nothing bad happens. It's you come really back out. Place. You may now investigate the bathroom, you creeper. Thank you, I rolled a 16. You take a look around, Beth didn't flush. Ew, here. She didn't specify, she didn't specify. Did you not wash your hands? You take a look around, you notice there's an air freshener plugged in the wall. Don't you touch me it's with those pee nice. hands. Smells like lavender. If it's yellow, um, let it mellow. I would like to take the air freshener and flush the toilet. All right, you flush the toilet, roll. <laughs> you heard me, Jerry, roll it. Roll what, the die. What am I rolling? Roll a d20, <laughs> for roll it. For a tell toilet? Me what the is on the, tell me what the number on the die is, Jerry. All right, Jesus. I. What am I adding? Just, just tell me what the number it's on the die is. It's a 16, it's a 16. All right, it flushes. Jesus, what? 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 I, I asked you to roll a die. You told me what was on it. I told you what happened. That's how that's how D and D works. You flush the toilet. You've got you got the air freshener. Anybody else want to try the toilet? I don't want to wash my hands in the sink. All right, go ahead, roll it. Fourteen. Yeah, you wash your hands. Okay. No problem. Nothing bad happens. What about you, beat face? Um, be careful, beat face. I look for another secret door. You take a look around for a secret door. Roll an investigate check. Mm hmm. A seven. Take a look around. You're feeling around and wait. I think I got something. You take a look. Oh, it's the top of the toilet. But you could top deck it. You ever top decked? <laughs> when you pee in the tops, when you flush, more pee comes out of the bowl. It's hilarious. Uh, I'm not sure that's exactly what happens in the top deck, but it's sure. That's fair. Great, <laughs> can I roll investigation? Yeah, of course you can. Go ahead, Morty. I would also like to take Go a little it. check. Five. Five. Take a look around. Don't find much. You, 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 you look and there used to be some kind of air freshener, but you think probably Kier has it. Don't worry. I think we're going to find something real soon. <laughs> right. Natural 20 on my... <laughs> ah! uh, yeah, you take a look around. There you go, Dad. Yeah, there's nothing special in here. Thanks, it's just son. the bathroom. What? Yep. But the Meeseek really? said this is where we go. Yeah, yeah, he's pointing in the direction you go. He didn't say this was the room. Ah. Oh. Right. Like, is it Grandpa Rick? Is it really but, like... You know, it was a really great roll. It was a really great roll, Jerry. You take a look around and you're like, yeah, it's definitely lavender. I take the air freshener with me. All right. It smells great in your pocket. I bet it does. All right. So we'll go to the next door in the, the room previous. All right. Wait, you want to go back the way you came or into the next door? Wait, do you saying there's another door in the bathroom? Yeah, there is a door. Okay, there's the door you came in, and then there's another door out. 
I go to the other door and investigate it. All right, go ahead. Just check, check for traps, then. Okay, I'll check for traps. All right, wow, what a great bonding experience we just had there. Let's hear it. All right, uh, which one is tra are helping trap one checking? Another. Oh, yeah, it's really helping. Is that survival? Uh, no, it's, uh... It's investigation. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, that die just loves to dance. <laughs> oh, that's because she's rolling a ball instead of an actual sharp shot. <laughs> oh, okay, well. Dodecahedron. <laughs> 13? 13. No, that's a 12. Right. You take a look around and you hear what sounds like science happening on the other side. Get you really excited about it. Oh, science. shit. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, I open the door. All right, you inside this room, you see a genius at work. Sure, he's a stinky bugbear, but he's a goddamn genius. He has two pathetic snot nosed goblins with him. Multiple tables are stacked with shit that your primitive primate brains couldn't even dream of comprehending. We're talking piles of notes with magic symbols. It's of a beautiful mind you're seeing here. Also, the bugbear's got two butts. No, I don't know why. Yeah, it's weird. Try not to stare. Oh, like uh, Icosa. He said he had two the goblins. Bugbear has what? That bugbear has two butts. <gasps> bugbear, bugbear, two-butted bugbear. Do you oh, say that? Bear. Yes, I say that. He looks up from his table and turns to face you. He's big and menacing, and he says, "Hi, yeah, I'm Tommy Two Butts. Yeah." Hi, Tommy Two Butts. Hey. I'm Beth. Hey, Beth. Um, go up. Look at my lab. Wait. Uh, I'm probably. sorry, Rick. Out of game. What? Do I have my butt back? No, your butt's still missing. What? Okay. But you're looking at his butt, so that's the first thing you're thinking is like, maybe this guy's got my butt. Okay, Tommy. But it's not your butt. Those are two bugbear butts. Yes. Yes. Uh, how do they look next to each other? How's what's the situation on that? It's 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 looking real weird, Morty. It's 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 it's, it's like a it's uh -oh. like too many hemispheres on a planet, Morty. It's okay. it's weird. All There's right. just so many curves and angles. You wouldn't even know where to start. Roll a sanity check. Yeah, okay. I think it's a good idea. You better roll a sanity check. <laughs> well, just roll. Which one's sanity? It doesn't matter. What'd you get? Seven. You're still sane. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, but Tommy, Tommy, two butts. Um, I'm yep. missing. Half my, most of my butt. Can you help me figure out how to get my butt back? Yeah, you're missing a butt right there. Or at least half of it. The other half does look good though. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the rest of my party doesn't seem to think so. I, I made that butt for you. Thanks. Just, anyways. Yeah, like that's um, not weird. Well, I, Dad's making butts. I do believe you made half of it. Agreeable for It was all I could you, make. Uh, well, you sure as hell didn't make two. I can only make a handful of butt, okay? It's a handful of butt at most, okay? But it's Those a handful. It's a, it's it's a handful. All right, whatever, cure. Uh, uh, yeah, so where do I go to the get two, my butt? The two goblins come in, and they, like, help you in, and they, they he's like, he, he mentions them by name, and one of them is Greeble, and one of them is Flurp, and Greeble and Flurp, they help you in, and, 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 and then they, 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 they look at your butt, where your butt should be, and they feel through your prestidigitation to feel like there's no butt. It's just raw legs back there. They're just touching nothing. <laughs> It's just, oh, it's, it's, it's wrong. It doesn't feel right to you. And they look and they turn to their boss and they go, yep, that's no butt. And he goes, I've seen too much of this. You've been visited by the Order of the Buttless, haven't you? I uh, guess so. The he, Buttless Buttress. <laughs> uh, so he looks up and he, uh, he shakes his head and he says, the Order of the Buttless has uh, a dire cause. Wrong they are. And they're sworn enemy for years. I'm working on a weapon to return butts across the land, but unfortunately, I, I don't know enough about magic to be able to fix it. Um, he knows magic. I stride forward and say, oh God, here we go. Uh, Sir Thomas Two Butts. Do you uh, know that everybody you talk to with the hand, or is that? Uh, uh, you just seem very active. It's just a, it's a, j thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Uh, um, I, I have a question. Yep. Is it arcane magic that you don't know? Or is it divine that you need? Oh, I just don't know anything about magic. I would like to make an arcane check to see if I can assist in his butt reproduction. But, Absolutely, go ahead and roll it. But divine has to do with healing. We're trying to heal a butt. One, one second. 20... He turns to you and says, "That would be helpful for what I have in mind." I think, I think everyone here. I step can in front of Jerry. Thing. I know divine magic. What did, what'd you roll? 24. Uh, you definitely think you can help. And I'll explain how in just a moment. As you step All in front right. of Jerry, he says, Oh, hey, um, cool. Uh, I'm making this thing. It's called the Churd Cannon. Okay? It, churd? Churd Cannon. Churd. So, I'm sorry, what? The Churd What cannon? does it stand for? It doesn't stand for anything. It is the Churd Cannon. It's What's a Churd? 
Are you serious? Yeah. You're seriously going to make me sit here and explain to you like a five-year-old what a chert is? <laughs> uh, please. No. But I will absolutely well, like, accept your help because we got to get these butts back. Beat face. Morty like told you about this like two days ago. Did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. I'm, I'm yeah. playing a character. Okay. Oh, Meat Face doesn't know oh. what shirt face with Meat Face. I'm sorry. I'm so Come on, sorry. Summer. Yeah, it's All right. I'm. I. What? I do the Jerry. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, what were the exact words I used in describing? <laughs> Liz, we don't have time to get into all this. We're trying to do therapy. We're doing therapy. We're trying to, I'm trying to make a family one again. And even with my scientific mind, the, the likes of which understands the very basics of how the universe is built. Fine, Rick. Fine. What's next? Okay, you're going to use your magic? Fine. Use your magic. Please help me get my butt back, but I'm not going to tell you. I don't really trust you right now, lion. Here, though? Hey. You're okay. <laughs> Half right. blood is better than none. Tommy goes... Well, it's your try. I don't know what's going on with all of you, but um, what I really need, and this is where you come in with your big fat roll, right? Yeah. All right. All you right. take a look at the flabulator, and you know that it must be connected to the chron chr chronomidon. Am I pronouncing that right? Oh, chromaton. Okay. You gotta. You know, right, and then you gotta. This, you, you know that it's gonna be targeted by a spell that causes a creature to regain hit points. Oh. Um. I stand out of the way. And relay that to a uh, lion. All right. You cast. What are you casting? I'm going to just smack it and cast Cure Wounds. All right. You smack it. And he's like, oh, easy. Jeez. OK. All right. I, I, I don't know how magic That's works. That looks fine. You see some parts fall off. It's probably fine. All right. You know that the next thing it needs is the Gleep Freeble mechanism. It must be calibrated, calibrated by targeting it with a fire-based spell. Um. Can't you do that, Lion? You hear from Tommy Two Butts. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> I don't. Was that two farts? Yeah, it was two, two farts. That's what that was. Yeah, it was two. They were subtle ones. They we were fart, small, no. hiding. <laughs> they were scared to come out. But now they're here. You? I cast Sacred Flame on it. Oh. All right, what do you cast? Sacred Flame. Yeah, as soon as you do that, you see the Gleek Freeble mechanism start whirring and turning just the way it normally does. Like, everybody knows how they work, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, no. Are you going to make face? me explain to you? Oh, it's Beat Face, right. You understand me. how. Oh, okay. yeah. Actually, Rick, I want to talk to you. Um, yeah. Beat Face. Say, look, we're, play, we're trying to advance as, as a family. Oh, my want, God. This so we have to be open and honest with each other. Sacred Flame is um, radiant, not fire. Oh, see, unfortunately uh, for you, Meat Face, in being a good player, got rid of that spell slot for you. Tough nuts. Wait, Tough nuts. wait, wait. Then how did we light the Meeseeks on fire? I don't know. At the time, I didn't know how that spell worked, but now I do. <laughs> it's, so it's not gosh, <laughs> Morty, Morty, just, just don't worry about it, okay? Meat Face, don't ever worry about being honest with this family. We all love and respect you. Yes. Oh, my God. And I, you. Now, back to the game. All right, so we'll say that you know, because you have cast Sacred Flame before, you know that it would, it would not set him on fire, so you do not cast that, okay? Who else has something they want to cast? Do I have fire? Uh, I don't have any fire. I don't have spells at all, so. I don't have fire spells. What if, does it have to be fire magic? Can I just start a fire? You don't know. I'm going to try to start a fire. All right, start that fire. Start a fire on his gun. Just um, I got, let's see, I got candles. All right. I got a... Uh, you got a torch. We do have a torch. Do I? Well, yeah, uh, Jerry's got one. Wait, I, hold up. I have I a can, crowbar. I, I press the digitation. I have two crowbars. Allows me to light or snuff out a candle, so I would let, or start a small campfire, so I would like to test, press the digitation. What's a python? Uh, oh, that's, um, it, you slam it into rock and you use it for rock climbing. Oh. It's an anchor oh. that. Uh, a, a yeah, six. I start a yes. fire with the candle. Go ahead. So as you <laughs> take your candle and hold it over, he does press the digitation, and a campfire explodes out of your candle. Oh my god! And as soon as that happens, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Gleek Freeble mechanism immediately bursts into life. Hey. Hey. You now have a candle that has a full campfire at the end of it. That's, hey, that's a high fiber, there, son. 
And now we're learning yeah. to work together as a team. We it's are. really, really hot. I don't know where to put this. Oh, Ma- Ma- Marty, watch. Tommy Wait. Two Bucks Jeez. looks up at you and he's like, don't put that down in here. Well, G- I cast Prestidigitation again and snuff it out. But not before Greeble leaps up and grabs the candle and eats it. Greeble. Oh. 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 Is he okay? He does like this. He's like, he puts the whole campfire in his mouth and he oh. swallows it down and you snuff it out inside him. And he belches up a bunch of smoke, and he falls over. Oh. Tommy Two Butt says he's probably fine. Greeble. Oh, maybe well, he was supposed no, to forgot. stay. No, I forgot. I'm back. I'm cold. And none cared. I, I, still... I do not check on him. Actually, I loot his body. I'm sorry, I gotta read something. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing. <laughs> the drunk will scream too. Sixteen. I'm looting. <laughs> He's got ten gold on him. All right, it's mine now. <laughs> it's all yours. It's mine. <laughs> Tommy Two Butts looks at He's like, are you really stealing from his corpse? Are you doing that right in front of me? Yes. All right. <laughs> nice I, mean, I can't get the church cannon working any other way, so fuck it. <laughs> the Draco Supreme Tube needs to be carefully primed by being targeted by any ranged spell attack or the magic missile spell. Oh. I cast magic missile. Oh, boy. You get... Erupting from my fingertips is a fluorescent color of light that shoot out and then hit their mark perfectly. I flick my toothpick. Oh, the toothpick is what really works. It works better than the the magic missile for some reason. When you flick the toothpick, it flings out and a whole bunch of tiny magic missiles fire in just before Jerry's can. Just before Jerry's can. Yeah, Beat Face, go! Well done, Meat Face. Well done. Yeah, Uh, Beat Face. Right, right, Beat Face. I'm sorry. Good job, Beat Face. Good job. All right. Oh, we're all supposed to be. You did your part. No, yeah, you're right. You're right. I did my part. It's a team effort. I, I need to not be so yeah. selfish. Be face on a curve. Tommy Two Butts, right. sensing your your displeasure, picks up the enormous weapon. And he says, well, "I guess you can have it." I take it. All right. It's an enormous cannon. Oh. And as he's holding yeah. on to it, and you're both holding on to it, you start to take it away, and he holds tight so you can't. And he oh. looks you dead in the eyes, and he says, "Remember." It's one shot for all butts. Oh my god. And he shoves it into your arms. <laughs> all right, I turn around, I ready my butt. One shot for all butts. The lack thereof, really. Oh, he oh. looks, he's like, no, 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 no. Oh, no, here. that's not, not for here. this? You, you use it on the butt. Oh! oh. oh. Um, okay, I... go back to that room. I, I bow uh, to Tommy Two Butts. Oh my god, stop bowing. It's, it is respectful. Uh, this you, man is helping us. What are you it's, doing? I'm... Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Sorry. I, but I, not being a ranged attacker, hand it to you. Oh, 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 oh look at that. Shoe in your mouth now. How's that foot taste, Summer? Being a jackass to Jerry, that's my job. All right, hey, so. It's not one's job. It's oh, I think your job is. I've been doing it so long, it might as well be summer. a career. Hold on, tell me two butts. That we've encountered a lot of uh, Gluteses, Maximuses, upon this dungeon. Um, and I would like to know, are we aiming it at the missing Beth butt? No. Well, who lost the butt? Was it Beth or Kef? It was. We're, no, we... That's no. right. Me. Beth has, Beth has her butt back. Well, well I Kef asked is, you. I uh, asked you. Well, then, yeah, you did whatever I said the first time. You don't have a butt, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I asked if my butt came back. It you did not. Said no. It said that I was right. You said no. <laughs> You don't have it's, a butt anymore, Morty. <laughs> don't, 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 don't question the DM. Yeah, okay, it's look, really, really, we really have really to really shoot really it at the butt that took my butt. Is that, wait, no, that's, is that what happens? Is that what we do? The big stone butt or the... Yeah, the big stone butt. The okay. butt for all, one yeah, shot the butt. Okay, because like, this is like really heavy. One I, shot, all butts. So not please. One butt. I would like to create a strap mechanism to help her carry this. All right, fine. You got a strap mechanism. It's still heavy, but at least it's not as heavy. Mm. All right. Do you want to help? What do you want to do? This, this is my oh, burden to bear. Oh, I do have a tinderbox. Tommy so looks around and he says, <laughs> "If you're gonna do it for anybody, do it for Flirt." Flirt hangs his head in shame and reveals that he has no butt. It's horrifying. Oh. His butt's missing too. It's I, disgusting. I scream out in anger. Ah, oh, not another butt. Tommy says, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> what do you do? Oh, sorry, I got, I got um, angry <laughs> out of game. Oh, that's, that was, don't do that to me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I won't, won't you released up. a lot of anger there. <laughs> Pro tip, don't go back yeah, to the chicken yeah, room. Yeah, really into this meat face. 
Right. Um, what are you doing with yourselves? Tommy looks on and he's like, Um, let us I head. I think we should go. Uh, let us head back to the stone butt to defeat it once and for all. Oh, before right. we do that, are there any unexplored rooms? We might find more clues. Oh. If it's you do real, see this is like really heavy. Unexplored rooms ahead of you. This is like oh. really heavy. I asked you if you want help. No, it, it, let's just get to the butt. That's and all I asked before I accidentally fire this thing. And as a man of science, I would like to see if Tommy Two Butt has any health potions about. Um, I ask him for one. Dad. Well, that's a good question. Is. Um, high or low? Uh, for what? Just say high or low, Jerry. It's um, easy. <laughs> Two options. Even you can figure this out. High or low? High. He hands you a health potion. Ah, clever. Yeah, I like to think so. Yeah, you bet you do. <laughs> but you keep yourself up at night thinking how clever you are. So. <laughs> Which way are you going? You're heading back towards the room? I want to go to the explore, unexplored areas. Let's, let's, I want my butt back! Let's deal with the butt first, and then we'll go explore. All right. Okay. Yes. You start heading back the way you came. You go back one room. See here? To the bathroom. It's still nice. Smells great. You go to the next room. Whole bunch of dead mort- I mean goblins. You head past that, because that's a waste of time. You go back into the Meeseeks room. No, and don't open that door. Okay, yeah, you move around the Meeseeks room. <laughs> so you go back to this room, which is, uh... Oh, yeah, the writer's room. Yep, she's still impaled to the wall. So you Ew. go back to... <laughs> this is the greatest game I've ever played. You go back to the next room. Yeah, there's the whole bunch of little adventures you killed on the floor. <laughs> Another javelin through them. Uh, wow, <laughs> and then we, you go back over to We really can. I, I'd man. like to pick up my javelin. Oh, yeah, you get your javelin back. It's got little people parts on it. Uh, we really massacred a lot of people. And then you get back to the room. butt room. A pair of perfectly rounded stone mounds cleft artfully right straight down the middle fills this room. Looks a lot like a butt from where you're standing. Something shiny glints near the ceiling and about four feet above what can only be described as this huge butt. Let's call it like I see it. So, like, I'm going to take aim. I, I go up to Ari, I place a hand on her shoulder, and say, you have this for all of us, for, for everyone. I, I would like to take the Sorry. help action by getting down on my hands and knees. Oh, thank you so much. Please. So that you can place the heavy thing upon my back oh, and steady it. See, that's how you help. I am that, helping that, emotionally. I, go ahead and roll an attack on D20. Yeah. Jerry, you, you, you created a wizard, not a bard. So play, oh, the, play right, the role. You're right, 15. You're right. Okay. All right, here's what happens. I'm sorry. There's a blinding flash and the sound of one really hollow fart. We're talking like, like, like the Pope on the stage, like farting, and it st literally stops everything. It's just one of those, like, it's hideous. It's enormous. You hear it echo down the halls. It's just, oh, all the way down. Geez. Just awful. It's slightly inquisitive. You know, like one of those farts, like asking questions, like, am I here? Did I happen? Who knows? But it's big and it's loud, so you know. You know the answer to that inquisitive fart. Yes, it was you. Yes, it was loud. It was you. <laughs> What'd you say to me? Okay, me face. I'm sorry. I, I, oh, yeah, I, I, shame. It was clearly, it was me. I'm the DM. Clearly. You want to take this outside? No, I really would rather uh, not. Me, me we're face, good. me face. We're all, we're all here for each other. We're all. All good. Sorry. That's Sorry. a joke that three people at home may get, and we love that you're watching. All right. Okay. One of them's so, on the other side of the room. All right. He's chuckling, so we're winning. All right. So, okay. So you fired the churd cannon, and you hear this echoing fart just <laughs> reverberate, like peel some of the paint off the walls. It smells terrible. Ah. Uh. But. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Shame me, Morty. Shame me. But Morty, as you feel this wave of fart wash over you, you feel something heavy. Something real. Something true. Do you reach back? Yes. Yes, I reach back. You grab one bun. Yes. You grab two buns. Yes. You've got your butt back, I Morty. You got your butt back, I Morty. Oh, crossbones. And you hear oh. all throughout the entire oh. the entirety of this yeah, amazing dungeon. Yeah, bitch, I just did. Oh, touch mm. it. Touch my butt. 
I, no, no, Morty, we can't. You can't, you can't say that, Morty. You can't say that, Morty. Morty, if you say this sort of thing, Morty, you can't say that on stream, Morty. That's just the whole weird implications, Morty. Oh, sorry, I got a little too into the. Anyway, so after this happens, this echoing fart, and you get your butt back, you hear down the hallways. Some people going, hey, I got my butt back. So you know you're heroes. You know it. Right. Who cares if they're being paid? He's probably fine. Oh flying. my god. This is so heavy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot to take in. I, I mean, no, I'm talking about my back. I'm literally carrying the party right now. Uh, <laughs> oh, I. I, I <laughs> oh, and that's, um, no, that's what the weapon's called the party. Uh, yeah, that's right, because your old one was named by Meatface, not Meatface. So. No, 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 not my, his weapon. Oh, okay. This is still Samantha. Right, got it. So you take a look around. The butt has now been completely destroyed. There's no butt left. But. <laughs> but what, Rick? What? One other thing to note that I almost forgot in the description, very important, is that when these butts came flying out, one flew up to you. They fly like beautiful butterflies in the air, just flapping like big old butts. Just all the way. And right on you, you hear the other ones flapping away. Is one a police officer? <laughs> a detective? Maybe. <laughs> Look, we don't want to get into that. All right. All righty. So, you guys are left in the butt room that no longer has a big butt. So now it's just a room. Where you go? Um, I guess we... Continue our exploration to the end of this dungeon. Uh, yes, let's go explore the unexplored. All right, so you start heading back the same way you came. All right. Uh, I go. think we can drop this weapon now. Is, is there yeah. anywhere you'd Sorry. like to go that maybe you haven't traversed? That way. All right. <laughs> so you head down into uh, the uh, the room with the little adventurers. They're still dead. You head down to the next room. There's still a dead writer in it. There's another door in this room you never took. The middle one. I do my thing. Already. Per always. Sixteen. No draw. No traps in those doors. Hmm. Get in there. I stealth. Beth. I stealth. And with your new butt. With my new butt. With your new butt. It's gonna be a lot easier, I think. <laughs> what a journey that is. Every time. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, you feel pretty stealthy. You feel right. like it's gonna be hard to see you. Okay, well, I, see I, you. I can see in dark vision. I have dark vision, so I can see. All right. Do you, go, you go into this door, and inside this door is another door, a wooden door. Uh, <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you reroll that. Boom. That was worse. Eleven. Uh, yeah, you, you take a look. Uh, it's, uh, it's not trapped. I'll go in. All right, you go in, the door, you go in the room, and you look around. The two of you are looking because you're at the front. Check this room out. It's a little pantry. Why a pantry? Because monsters have to eat, idiots. Believe it or not, the creatures that dwell in this dungeon exist even when you chumps are parading through their shit. So the, the room reeks of vinegar. Shelves line the walls on either side of you. They contain oversized pickle jars, which probably accounts for the stink. Most of the jars are filled with just brine, but a dozen still contain enormous pickles nearly two feet long. The jars are wider than the shelves, so they stick out over the edge. Also, there's a 10-foot ladder blocking the middle of the pantry, Leaning against one of the upper shelves. Quick, we gotta drink all the pickle juice. What? Yeah. 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 the puzzle? Well, I know it is. I'm Stop. not so sure those are pickles. What if they're like. I, I mean, I. Start drinking the pickles. Oh, you I'm, a, I'm a half orc. All right. Well, what if they're like goblin dicks uh, or something? Can I like climb the ladder to the very top of the uh, shelf? Severed well, right in the jar. So you walk in to drink the jars first. Yes. Make a DC. Uh, I can't say that. <laughs> acrobatics check. Man, I'm really good at this, aren't I? Hey, that's not bad. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> Minus one. Fourteen. <laughs> wow, you missed it by one. Well done. Oh, that sucks. Can I investigate the pickles? You knock five or more. Uh, you talk about. Uh, you know what? You knock about eight jars down. Right? Um. You. They smash to the floor. They shatter into a thousand vinegar soaked pieces and release the contents. I would like to attempt to use Mage Hand to catch one of the falling jars. All right, you do that. Go ahead and roll. Natural a 20. Ah! Ah! Oh, thank you! <laughs> so, you catch one of the jars. Anything for you, Pete. And as you get it, you see the, the pickle inside is kind of against the side of the jar into the, into the Mage Hand. It you look up, you, the two-foot-long uh, two pickle in the jar you just jostled turns to face you. 
I'm just a saving pickle has a face. No. Let me say that again. No. It's a pickle with a face. <laughs> it, it starts to headbutt the jar from the inside, edging it toward, you guessed it, the edge of the shelf. I, yeah, I believe in you, go! I, 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 I stop it. I, I Alright, you hold your hand there. Yep. Alright. Hold on. Can I, Hello? Like, can I like climb to the top of the ladder and to the top of the shelf? Just give me a second, Summer. <laughs> oh, Rick, you never let me do anything. I'm letting you do stuff. Make, a, make an acrobatics check. Natural 20 with... Oh! oh, 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 oh shit. So 23. All right, yeah, you made us to weave your way in. You're climbing up the ladder. All right. <laughs> uh, so you knocked down about eight, right? Yeah, Alrighty. seven. Because he caught one. That's true. <laughs> you hear three more jars, but they go tick, 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 near the edges, and then... Uh... All right, it's going to attack. Is it, oh. is it falling on me? No, there's one that's already on the ground that uh -huh. you knocked over, and okay. it immediately turns, and I'm thinking of a number, one through five. Five. Uh, three. Two. Four? Who said five? All right, it's you. All righty, does a nine hit? No. Well done. You see this giant pickle leap up and take a big bite at you. What you, it just, I kick it. <laughs> And it, you, uh, out of the way, and just in time. But all oh, the pickles, they, they mean it. And there's three more trying to get the boys out. I need everybody to roll initiative. <laughs> oh, wow, that was trash. Crap. Ooh. Alrighty. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. All right. All right. What'd you get? Five. Five, all right. Seven. Seven, okay. Eight. All right. <laughs> Thirteen. All right. Seventeen. Well, that's literally, there we go. <laughs> so we'll start with you. Um. You see, there are about, uh, there are three of these pickles. I, I flicked my toothpick. All right, you, you go to reach for your toothpick. I need you to make an investigation check. It's so small. Oh. You can't find uh, it. What, what? Why are you doing to this, man? Uh, this why? is the item. A me, tiny magic wand. Me, 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 me face. Me face. Yeah. Me face. Me face. Right. Miss it. I'm like, fuck. Fine. What'd you get? Perception or investigation? Uh, investigation. Actually, no, it is perception. It's perception. Uh, 18. You find it. It's in my teeth. It is. You, you left it there. <sighs> yeah. Gotta pull it back out. Yeah. Uh, I hit one each. Alrighty. Go ahead and roll them. Uh, one. Uh, get back here. That was a four. Four, and four again. All right, so you're hitting each of them once? Yeah. How much did you do in total? Four, four, and four? No, one, four, four. So one okay. takes one, and then the other two take four. The back two explode into pickly brine. The one in front <laughs> takes it like a champ and says, that all you got, bitch? Okay, I'm gonna sneak attack it. Okay. <laughs> because I'm still stuck. Yeah, you are, yeah, you absolutely are. So, uh... Well, that's a dirty, well, that's a 22. Oh, it hits. Yeah, okay, well, since I'm stealth, I get 2d6, because I'm level three now. Go for it. Yeah, by the way, while we run our break, everybody level to level three, because I'm a great DM. Woo! That's right. 10 damage. 10 damage, shit. <laughs> that pickle's dead. <laughs> fuck you, pickle! As you yell, fuck you, pickle, it says, fuck you, you little, ah! And you stab it in the back, and it's, oh, there's pickle juice everywhere. It gets in your eyes. It's in your mouth. You can taste pickle, Morty. Oh, it's I awful. Don't care. It's beautiful. All right, you it tear it apart. It tastes good, Rick. It tastes good. It tastes delicious. It tastes like murder. Oh. And then a whole bunch of more fall off the shelves. I need everybody to make deck saving throws to try to stop these pickles from hitting the ground. Thirteen. Thirteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Nine. Okay. Nine. All right. Really Nineteen. It. Nineteen. I'm really two more it. pickles hit the ground as you two barely fumble through yours and barely miss them, and the pickles hit the ground. All right, that makes it your turn, Beth. I'm gonna smash it. All right, smash that pickle. Oh! oh. 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 Twenty. All right. I think it's smashed. Well. Oh, it's fucked. You turn that pickle inside out before it explodes. It's everywhere. There's pickles on all the walls. All right. 
Jerry, there's one pickle left. One pickle left? Yep. I am going to take my quarter staff and strike it. All right, smack you a pickle, Jerry. Let's, now we can say you never contributed any. No! Oh! 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 Roll that damage. <laughs> Uh, ten points of damage. You see Jerry golf this thing across the room. <laughs> it smashes under one of the walls and sprays pickle everywhere. You're basically all falling into pickle confetti. You're living in the innards of the men you've killed. I see that that Meeseeks debacle where they took wait, two wait, strokes really, off uh, your swing. That's how I talk about that. But it, so. you, you, you actually yeah, did yeah, take two you strokes see, off your yeah, swing. Hey, I do remember that. You see ya? That is so, I rem I remember that. All right. I was there. Are I you getting summer. off of this meat face? But he wasn't it? there. He meat face has only been here. Summer, you see two more pickle jars edging towards the edge. What do you do? So like I'm on the ladder and I'm pretty bored, so I'm gonna go to the top of the shelf and try to push the whole shelf to the ground. All oh, right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go ahead and make me a strength check as you try to shove over you, this wall. You're not playing a tabaxi. Seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I don't need these kind of jokes. I'm, I'm not supposed to laugh. I'm Rick. All right, I'm Wizard Rick. All right, you. Uh, oh shit! That's a lot of pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Y'all might be in some trouble. <laughs> Need more deep fours. All right, let's start with. Uh, no, I, I got it. I'll just roll this one a few times. <laughs> yeah, y'all probably fine. Eight more pickles hit the ground. Is it only eight? Only eight. Oh wow. Because the rest are trapped underneath the the actual. These are the ones that don't just fall under the shelf and are trapped there. Mm. All right. But there are eight new pickles. It's their it. turn. <laughs> Here we go. Pickle time, bitches. Come at me, bitches. Don't, All right. Don't yeah. antagonize them. Yeah. All right. Bitch, get on my level. Okay, so. We're all at the same level, Summer. One pickle no, she's is going to there. attack each of you. We're all level three. Actually, two pickles are going to attack each of you, but you're high enough up that the pickles can't reach yet. So, we'll start with. Bye-bye. How, how Does a five hit you, beat face? Uh, it, yes, but it bounces off my uh, strong pet. All right, that sounds logical to me. All right, Morty. Does a six hit you? I'm sorry, seven. No. All right, Morty. You managed to dodge out of the way of a pickle attack. All right, Beth. Does an eleven hit you? <laughs> no. All right, Jerry. <laughs> Does a nineteen hit you? Uh, what? Everybody else got really low. I know. I got really low. <laughs> this is one of those times where fate favored the bold, all right? So you are going to what? take... Yeah, Dad, go for it! You've got this! Oh. You're going to take uh, two, I'm sorry, three points of piercing damage, and I need you to make a save. I, I feel like, I don't know, maybe like 30 to 45 minutes ago, this would have been a lot more scary. <laughs> 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 Uh, let's right. save. I need you to make a constitution save. Uh, oh, no. five. I'm sorry to say this, Jerry, but you have become a lycanthro pickle. <laughs> a what? A lycanthro pickle. Come on, Jerry, you really gonna make me explain this to you? Fine, I guess I will. You are now part pickle. Most lycanthro pickles that embrace their briny nature succumb to bloodlust, like becoming evil opportunistic creatures that prey on the weak. In hybrid form, I like Cranthro Pickle has the same statistics as a twig blight with the altered ability noted in Area 5. I'm sorry, Area 9, which I will explain later. Is this... And in pickle form, you have no statistics because you're just a pickle. You're just a pickle, Jerry. Uh, am I a pickle now? Or no, no, I... you're, you're still a man, but now you can turn into a pickle. Why would I... Or a hybrid form of a pickle. Why would I want to be that? You could find Yo, Jerry. Dad, turn into a pickle. Not... Let's go. No, Dad, turn into a pickle. Persuasion. I'm not turning into a pickle. I'm not turning into a pickle. Yeah, roll persuasion. Roll persuasion. So Why you can not? Turn into a pickle. Ooh. Yeah, I'll, I'll assist. Yeah, roll, roll that. Uh, roll that. Nineteen. Nineteen. Pretty good. Wait. What? Okay. Uh, for me, uh, persuasion. <laughs> right. It's gonna be twelve. Twelve. You're going to make that whatever he rolled or what she rolled. <laughs> Summer. Sorry, Wait. Summer. You, you, okay, you, 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 you want me to counter this at all, or just what? Order to roll a d20. 
Oh, what do you know? It didn't work. It's a shame, what? Jerry. You hate to see this sort of thing <laughs> yeah, happen. Wait, wait, this was really high. What, what, what'd you roll? What'd you roll? I roll? What am I adding to it? Uh, yeah, what, what do you want? What's your highest uh, number? What's uh, the insight, highest number on insight. your sheet? Uh, the highest number on my sheet? Yeah. Um, It's five. So oh, be... man, just one beneath. You were one wait. off. You were one away. So close. It was really close, Jerry. We were all rooting for you. What? Yeah, <laughs> Dad. Pickle you know, Jerry, let's go. I, 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 will, I will, because I don't want to push you in a direction your character wouldn't go, all right? I want to be respectful of your character. Thank you. You can go half form. You can go, like, not full pickle. You go, like, half pickle. But, Grandpa Rick, that was, like, a good roll. She raised a solid point. You gotta turn into a pickle next turn. You gotta do it. You gotta do it, Jerry, for the people at home. Yeah, pickle Jerry, let's go. All right, somersault jump. Let's do this. Okay, so it is their turn still, and they're gonna attack each of you one more time because there's another set. Am I still high enough? To yeah, you're still okay. Like Sixteen to hit you. Uh, no. All right. Hey, Morty. Morty. Does oh God? Does a twenty-one hit you, Morty? Yes. All right. I need a Constitution saving throw. Constitution? Yeah, let's see if you turn into a pickle, Morty. Yeah, let's see if you turn into a pickle, son. <laughs> yeah, it's Pickle Rick. Rick. Yeah, let's come on, go. Come on, get him. Right you. This is going to be in here. <laughs> Ten. Morty. No. Yes. No. You too. No. Beth has become a Lycanthro pickle. Yeah, fuck yeah. Beth. All right. Like, turn, her into, turn into a pickle. Now the persuasion check. It's like yeah, somebody no, no, got no, hoisted this, by this, their own pickle. That's right. That's right, Beth turns into a pickle. I'm a pickle now, pickle Beth! That was pretty good. All right, uh, all right, they're attacking you now. Normal Beth. Natural 20. You're only can't throw a pickle. <laughs> You're gonna take... Six points. Wait, what's, what's, wait, hit that Beth? Yeah, that Beth. Wait, as a pickle, what are my hit points? Uh, you're a pickle. <laughs> you don't have hit points. That's for things that have help. You're a pickle. What's my Yeah, I you love know, this game. Let's I, I, go. I, 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 oh, are we suddenly upset that people Rick, are turning into singles? All, all right, yeah, that's fair. All right, next on the list is uh oh, Jerry, you're getting chomped at again. Uh, am I? Am yeah, I? 14. That would hit if I didn't have shield, uh, which I cast uh, now. Fine, you shield yourself from getting even cooler. I guess. <laughs> all right, that's the end of their turns. You now see a host of pickles on the floor. You see a bunch of pickles bouncing against the, the shelf. She knocked over. It's top of the order. Beat face. I don't think you're appreciating what Rick is facilitating for us. So I eat all of those pickles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beat face, let's Wait. go! Uh, am I a pickle now? <laughs> you have a to pickle I, I will hold my action until they turn into <laughs> I know you're gonna try to eat me. Wait, I am currently. What is your passive insight? Uh, it, it, uh, uh, it's 12. It's 12. 13. 13. <laughs> what? Oh, hold on. I will try and make it seem like I'm not. Uh, seven. All right. <laughs> you you all definitely get the feeling this bastard's going to eat you shortly. And you, you hear, you hear. <laughs> and he's looking around. He's like, man, sure are a lot of pickles in here. <laughs> Haven't had a bite since I got in this dungeon. Oh. Sure are a shitload of pickles. Heroes. Two Heroes don't use the bathroom, but we do eat and drink that's, very often. That's actually oh. true. <laughs> All right. at, at every tavern, actually. Okay, so. We were all. You are so holding your action for more pickles. Uh, no. You're waiting for the. We're going to say you're holding your action for the maximum number of pickles you can eat at once. Yeah. All right. Morty, it's your turn. You know, if you turn into a pickle, this man's going to eat your I'm ass. I'm already a pickle. You can, it's your turn. You want to stay a pickle? You want to go half pickle? You want to go back to normal? And we were all having fun with people being pickles. Oh, shut up, Jerry. You you get something cool. And we're in a life or death situation. If I turn into a pickle, does, does I turn back? Does that use my action? No. Okay. Stay a pickle, Marty. It's a bonus action to turn in and away from a pickle. Uh, Trust I, me, I know from experience. Okay. Oh, oh. What? You, I turned myself into a pickle once. I was Pickle Rick. It's great. You weren't there in me face. It was awesome. All right. Um, I'm going to turn back into Beth. That involved therapy, too. <laughs> anyway, okay, you turn back into Beth. Boom. Uh -huh. And then I, um, I guess I attack one of the pickles. Yeah, go for it. There's a lot of them around. They're everywhere. All right. Uh, Courtesy of Summer. <laughs> this game's great. Okay, so 22 to hit. Oh, that, that pickle's fucked. Go ahead and roll it, Morty. Roll that damage. Okay. I believe in you, Morty. Did y'all buy that? Six damage. Uh, that, that pickle's fucking toast, Morty. Right, He's never I, coming back. I'm 
do a second attack with my second dagger. All right, you better stab that pickle, Morty. Eat it, Beth. Eat it. Thirteen to hit. Thirteen does not hit, Morty. You just, what? you just. Wait, am I wrong? I had a look like, what the fuck are you talking about? What? That's Don't you make me doubt myself, you assholes! Is that every class? What did you roll? Thirteen. Oh shit, it does hit. <laughs> that's, a, that's a quick pickle. All right. <laughs> I think we found six. ourselves in a pickle. Huh? Another six. Oh man, this pickle explodes like the first one. You got two halves of pickles I'll on the side. Pickles! All right, Beth, other Beth. I'm not going to turn into a pickle. All right, I'm, I'm okay. I'm going to run out the ladder, shoulder check it, <laughs> knock Summer off, and say, get on my level. All right, <laughs> Is there any way I can say it? I'll, I'll, we'll get to that to see if you can dock over the ladder first. Go ahead and roll a strength check. Oh, I also want to make it clear I did flick off dead pickles. Oh, you did? And said, fuck you, pickle. All right, uh, that's fucking badass, actually. Yeah. Athletics or strength? Uh, athletics. 14. All right, you go tumbling down. I need you to make an acrobatics check to not land on your ass. <laughs> Shit. The natural one. Yes. You land head first into the ground. You look up, and there's a bunch of starving, hungry pickles, and one of them goes, you're fucked, sister. <laughs> yeah, come at me, bitches. Let's go. All right. Pickle summer. That's your turn. Any bonus actions or anything you want to do now that you've doomed your own daughter to death? Look, Summer, your name is Summer. It's not Thotum. You don't need all of these pickles coming after you so hard. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Be fa me face. Oh, look at this. Thank Finally, you. you're treating him like he's family, which he is and always has been. Jeez. He was there at your birth. If, okay, you have ahead. nothing else. All right, it's on to you, Jerry. So I need DM explanation on oh if, or not, if I was or was not convinced to turn into a pickle from last round to this You one. were convinced. However, looking at Meat Face, you definitely don't, you don't feel as convinced as you did before. Do I have the choice you do. to pickle or not pickle? You have a choice to pickle or not to pickle. Okay. That is the question. I, Does, oh, don't make Shakespeare references around me. All right. Can, I will ask this later. But for now, um, how many pickles are left? There are currently are six pickles left. Then I They're will, hopping. I will cast Magic Missile at second level oh. and fire one uh, dart at one pickle each, taking out uh, four. All right, roll. With any luck. Oh, I can't. They got these belches, but they're quiet ones, so it's not really working for the whole Rick thing. It's a shame. I should drink more, more, more soda or something. Three points, two points, two points. All right. Oh, jeez. Five points. All right. Last one explodes. The others all look severely <laughs> injured, like they're on the point of falling dead. But they're so driven by their pickly hunger that they're still hopping on. They really want to bite Why you. Why are they so hungry? I don't know. Maybe because nobody's people? feeding the pickles. Nobody's feeding like can't throw pickles. Why do they, they eat They have a meat? plight too, Morty. Why do they eat meat, Rick? I will. Because I wrote it that way. Go ahead, it's your turn. I, I will use my movement to move to the back of the room all and right. out of the way of the pickles. All right, you leave your family to die at the hands of the pickles. I'm not. You we're all in the clear, Jerry, loud same and clear. room. We're all. All right. You know, fine. All right, you're down on the ground. You're looking face first at the pickle. It's going to take you half your movement to stand up and get away from these pickles. Yeah, let's do it. All right, you stand up for half your movement. Looking at this room, it's really only about 10 foot by 10 foot. There's not a lot of room, so you could rush out of here if you wanted to be like Jerry and, and leave your family to it's die. Not, are there any more upright shelves? Uh, yeah, actually there are. There's two more. <laughs> This is a. So I'm assuming the ladder's knocked down. Oh, the ladder's down, yeah. It's can like, I climb up the shelf? Or one of the shelf? You could make an acrobatics check. It'd be a little bit harder than climbing the ladder. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Five. You get about halfway up and you feel it tilt. <laughs> can I bring it down? And you bring it down on top of you where you are trapped underneath it, covered in pickles that are now breaking free. <laughs> All right, it's their turn. <laughs> <laughs> Before we move any further, is there anything of worth in the pickle room? Why are we spending all of our time oh, yeah, That's a good here? question. Let me check. <laughs> <laughs> Did the ladder go anywhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, there's yeah, there's nothing. I mean, I'm just, spoiler alert, there's, there ain't no loot. Fuck you. It's just pickles. All right. You get caught by, oh my god, six more pickles. 
All right. So now all six of them focus on you. So now there's eleven pickles. Yeah, there's, yeah, twenty to hit you. That hits. All right, let's see the next one. Uh, fifteen to hit you. Fifteen hits. All right. What about a uh, uh, ten? Ten does not hit. A ten? Nope. Eighteen? Yeah. Eleven? No. <laughs> fifteen? Yes. All right. So it's uh four. Thank you. All right. Jesus. Bless you. Hey, Summer. You might want to start marking off a letter. <laughs> <laughs> Heads up. Probably nothing to worry about. Okay. <laughs> 17 points of damage. <laughs> yes. Ooh, how's it feel, Summer? Does it feel good? Yeah? All right, yeah, that was the first it. set. <laughs> the other six look at you and say, wow, that sure is an easier meal than the rest of these assholes. <laughs> Does an eight hit? No. Does an 18 hit? Yes. Does a 13 hit? No. Does a, does a nine hit? No. Is there a point for me to even roll a natural 20, you uh, get 13, fucked. 13 hits. All right, natural 20, you get yeah. fucked. <laughs> Five, and then. Five doesn't hit. Okay, 11, all right, so you're gonna take another, yep. Well, you gonna take hit. four right away. Well, two hits and take. then a twenty. Right. So okay. So got do it. the two other hits first. All right. Three. <laughs> it matters. Get Eight. Wrecked, summer. <laughs> so I want to die, stuff. bitches. Let's go. Eleven. That's why I suggested the game. Yeah. Fifteen more points of damage. Face. I'm dead. <laughs> All right. You watch game. as the traitorous <laughs> member of your team is not only crushed under. Wait, did not you? Not only crushed under a shelf of pickles, but then consumed by the very same pickles that crushed her. This reminds me of another game called Paranoia. Listen, <laughs> I, I can neither That's... confirm nor deny that I've ever DM'd that game before. <laughs> but this feels very similar. So, as you are eaten alive, what are your last words? Fuck off, bitches! All right. Pickle summer! You gain another plus one on your next roll. <laughs> Oh. That was badass as shit. I if totally... you haven't used your plus ones, then you can use them. It was plus two. Oh, but... yours, yeah, there you go. Then yours is plus two because you're meat face. All right. All, right. Mine was you, plus two all the pickles get done eating, and they kind of. The one goes, Yeah, I'm pretty full. And they're like, Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. And they just all crawling back into the shelves. Well, that wasn't it. That's point. it. Where, where does the letter? Um, wait, wait, hold on. DM Rick, like, so if I die in real life, I'm like, can I get out of like, this family therapy? Or like, do I? Shut up, Summer. <laughs> if, if I can't get out, you can't get out. If, if, trust me, if that was all it took to get out, I'd kill myself right now just so I could get out of this. All right? But it's not. It's not. Trust me, I checked. I where, really did check that. Where does the ladder go? You don't know. She knocked it down. Not even more of my dead body? Well, oh. I'll put the ladder back up. All right, you look, and it looks like it leads to the top of a shelf that's been knocked over. Oh. Well, at least You look to where shelf. the top of the shelf is, and you see a whole bunch of broken health potions that hit the ground. Looks like there are about six of them. Oh, rude. Yeah. Now I'm not going to mourn her at all. <laughs> well, as you walk out of this room, I'm assuming... Wow. Summer, I'm going to fucking kill you. Hey... It's, well, it's all right. Uh, it's, I, I know we're getting all a little testy here, but it's a, it's it's a it's a game at the end of the day. Um, Sorry. Dad, me, just like just like I got this, and let me live my life. What are you gonna say? Say something. Say something. I want to hear it. <laughs> talk shit. Go go go. Do it. Oh, really? Do it. Wait, I'm not uh, gonna talk shit to me. All right, all right. Yeah, don't talk shit to me. Why, why, why would I? Okay, so there's one, ro one door you haven't been through in this room, and it's straight ahead of you past the ladder. All right, I'm good. Boom. In. I love how every time we walk into a room, there's always just another door there. <laughs> one, two, one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's hard to explain things through all the pickles. You couldn't see through the wall. You couldn't see the... Who are you again? Shut up. All right, so you... 21. Get out of here. What? <laughs> 21. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing. It's okay. Right, but I you do go. hear on the other side what sounds like somebody struggling to breathe. Uh, I open I the door. Stealth. All right. Ooh. 11. You feel decently stealthy. I'm I, in the room anyways. He walks right by you. He goes in the room. I'm okay. A narrow walkway two feet across hugs the wall of this circular chamber. Beyond the edge of the walkway yawns a nasty 20 foot deep pit. Man, yawns. I love that. I wrote that. It's great stuff. <laughs> Evidently a trap that succeeded at its intended purpose. 
An attractive young woman in wizard's robes is impaled on a nasty-looking spike at the pit's bottom oh, no. and gasping for breath. If she's some kind of a losing, she's a convincing one. Oh, I'll go run to save her. Immediately. It's in a big pit. Straight yeah. down. Yeah, I'm, uh, gonna, I'm gonna fight. I got a rope. No, you can jump down. That's fine. Do it. No, I got a rope. It's... <laughs> oh, shit. Rope oh, and a oh Glizzle Gus. I'm sorry. This is someone from the last time I ran this dungeon. It's, I thought I got her out of there. It's... Damn, it sucks. Can I, can I use my rope and acrobatics check to get down to her? Um, I you will. start reaching to get ready to get ready, and as you turn, you bump into the new Summer. Summer, what is your character's new name? So, like, hi, everyone. My name is Tari Strongbow. Tari. What's, what's, like going, what's, what's going on? Uh, hi. Hey. Tari. Tari. I am um, Kira Brevin. Please help me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Beth. Let's keep moving. Uh, yeah. I, I assist in tying off his rope. All right. uh, okay. I help him. Okay, oh, oh, so, wow. uh. Oh. 21. Oh, 21, what are you right. trying to do? I'm trying to descend. All right, you start climbing down the spikes. You're yeah, like, well, I use my rope. All right, oh, okay, yeah. You, you use your rope. You help tie it off. Did you roll? Uh, Just roll to see if we get anything better. Uh, I certainly can. Um, uh, 18 plus uh, is 20. All right, yeah, between the two of you, you feel like the rope's real solid. You start climbing down. As you're getting about halfway down, she's like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. She looks real fucked up. You see the spike is stuck through her neck. Oh, God. It looks like you're going to probably need somebody who's really good at healing to be able to take a look at that. Um, hey, lion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you want to heal her? Are you asking me for help? She's just so pretty. All right, you're climbing down. All right, between the two of you on this rope, I want you to make a, um, a strength check, each of you, to try to pull her off the spike and lift her up back up the rope. So like... A strength check? Well, yeah, strength. Ooh. No, I'm not using that dice. That dice mm. is fucking me up. I like, I like, I like this. Okay. Tari, Tari uh, likes. 15. Five. All right, Morty does most of the handiwork. You just kind of... You know, you're the guy in the middle of the couch trying to help lift it. You, that's you. You're, like, you're there. You, you say you're helping, but we both know you aren't. And so, I remember Jerry. I remember lifting that fucking couch. You in the middle. I'll take you the know, middle. You know, the I'll middle. Take, the middle is where the center of gravity I is. I have you. All right, right. You get you get her up in her name. She looks up at you. She says, uh, "Where's my room?" Oh, my name is Glizzle Gus. Uh, uh, Glizzle Gus. Glizzle Gus. I, I need help. You don't think magical healing will be enough. Oh, shit. You think you'll have to use some true medicine. Okay. All says. This is something only Beth can do. The, okay. the, the other. Well, actually, your name's Beth, too, so I'll let you do I'm it, Beth. too. <laughs> 17. 17? 17. Wow. What the hell? The two of you start working on her. Which one's the real Beth? <laughs> They're so much the same. I asked them, uh, do you want ice cream cones? You both say? No. No. They are, they are twins, that is why. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a joke only I got, all right. <laughs> Been friends for a long time, all right. Uh, Gliz clutches her throat where you guys working together help like suture it up. And she says, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I fell in here a long time ago, oh, and now I'm free. Oh. Oh. So, like, oh. can you like stop being a drama queen and like say what you're gonna say? Like what? Uh, what happened? Why were you so hurt? I don't know. I fell in. Why? Why do you, you think I got hurt? You saw it sticking through my neck. I fell in the hole. No, I, I understand. Sorry, I, I get that. You know, the panic state and all, but um. Where, where are you trying to go? Oh, you know, I'm just uh, taking a look around. Everybody make insight checks. <laughs> um, shit. I don't want to roll insight. All right. She's up. She's up with us. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's getting pushed. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, All right. No. She was disrespectful to the family. All right. Uh, Everybody roll your insights. What'd you get? Eleven. Eleven. Nineteen. Nineteen. Six. Six. Eight. Everybody but Morty and Beth knows this lady is trouble with a capital T. She's bad fucking news. She's can beautiful. I like, how, right. can I like drop kick her? She's so pretty. <laughs> Athletics dirty 20. 
Uh, you, you go, you're getting ready for your drop kick, and then running past you is a drop kick from Beatface, who launches both feet into the small of her back and sends her plummeting back inside no! the <laughs> It's time to beat that face! <laughs> do you want to try to catch her, Morty? Yes! Roll. Yes, I do. Roll an athletics check. Okay. And pray to every god you know. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. She, you get a hold of her robes and they slip right through your fingers as oh. she goes plummeting. And her last words were, "I was gonna betray you." And she hits the spikes. She's dead instantly. I was yeah, eat it, bitch. Me. She's pretty um, hot, Morty. I mean, like, she's I a solid a 9 out of 10. I would have let her betray me, yeah. <laughs> so, no, uh, no, Morty, the part of therapy is so that you can pick out toxic people. Uh, Beatface you know, like, brings up a good Beth? point. Uh, okay, let's not just... The mom who let me die. That is Jeez, your character. Morty, that is you grow up. up. It's, That's your like, character. Morty, oh, you really? like let me get like eaten by pickles and like didn't even warn my loss. So like, yeah. You so, tried like, to kill me. All right, I, I can tell that the therapy's going on great, but we gotta continue with this dungeon because there's a lot of cool shit that I wrote and I want to fucking get to all of it because I wrote it. All right. Uh, on to the next door then. Yes, you headed to the next room, the next one that you haven't been through. There's only one other door you haven't been through in this room. Oh, I found it here, right after um, we did everything in this one room. 19 on the usual. Yeah, there's nothing. I stealth yet again, go through. That's, you know, basic math is 13. All right, I can feel still see super you. stealthy right now, like stealthier than you ever had before. Hell even yeah. though you're stealthier than you have been before. Hell yeah. Oh my God, your butt's gone again. No, it's not. It's not, that's a sore topic for everybody. Let's also, that's it. your butt, Beth. It's At the center of this room floats yeah. a tiny orb of energy that lights the area up. The room has two other doors. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose the right one. No, that's wrong. Always choose left. I, Maybe Ari would have done that. Is anybody going in the room? I am. Yeah. Certainly. Is anybody not going in the room? All right, you all go in. I'll go left. All right, the door slams shut behind you because I love doing that. It's hilarious. All right. I scream. Ah! All right, the door you came through and the other doors are no longer alone. All the walls are suddenly covered with identical doors, 12 in all. Weirdly, you're no longer sure which door you came through to get in here. Um, I would like to inspect the orb in the middle. All righty. See here. You go to the door, you go to the orb in the middle. You kind of look it over for a second. Go ahead and roll Arcana. One second. You have such a hard time getting things in a box. Mm. Oh. That was a double entendre. Good. Contrary. Ew, mom, gross. <laughs> I got a, a seven. Help. It's a seven. A what, do, what do I know? You don't know much. You take a look at it and you're like, I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah. But there's a lot of doors around here. Lots of doors. Oh, um. What do you want to try one? The left one, but after Beth. All right, you trying one? Roll a d12. Shit. I'm sorry, after Lion. Windley. Yeah, that's right, I'm still on my first name. Four. You walk in the door. <laughs> and you walk through, you shut the door behind you, and your family is waiting in the exact same place. I pick a door. All right, you can walk in up to them. Do you say anything? Hello? Hi. Hey. It's all of you. Oh. Hello. Uh, uh she just hmm. walked in through which door? Uh, she walked in through, um, one of the doors. You don't remember which. Okay, I'm going to pick one to the left. Okay. Directly to the left of us. How many doors are there? There's 12 in total. Oh, damn. Let's I, start. I open it. I open it. I, I roll. I roll. No, that, that's a. A 12. No, right. that's a, um. The decahedron. You I need to do a icosahedron. No, no, we need, no, we need a D12. No, I oh, need a D12. that. All right. I rolled so. 12. All right. You come walking. Oh, by the way, as you're leaving, one of them tells a joke, and you hear them laugh, but their laughter sounds backwards, like, ah ha ha, ah ha ha, ah ha ha, as you come in through the door and shut it behind you. Jesus, that's really intense. Oh. When you walk into this door, you are overwhelmed by the certainty that squirrels can't exist in this oh. dimension. For the rest of you, this has always been your dimension. You know that squirrels don't exist. Because you've never seen a squirrel, you don't know what a squirrel is. Right. But you are overwhelmed with the feeling there are no squirrels in this dimension. Hey guys, 
Um, do you remember that squirrel from yesterday? What, what? squirrel? No. What, squirrel? what is what is a squirrel? Like, what are you talking about? How would you spell that? <laughs> what? Squirrel. You know that I am intelligent. Yeah. But Beatface only has an average of ten. So yeah. plus zero. Could he make could he make a deductive reasoning to I'm gonna walk backwards through a door? Sure. I'll let you do that. All right. Roll D twelve. One. <laughs> you back through a door, you open it up, you back back through. You come out on the other side, everything smells like licorice. It's gross. The rest of you, this is normal. You've always lived here. Wait, do squirrels still not exist? Your door, the door shuts. That Morty's gone. You're a new Morty. Oh. <laughs> you come through, everything smells like licorice. To the rest of you, this feels normal. Ugh. Beth, I know you have a drinking problem, but seriously, absinthe? Look, what? I don't have any on me. <laughs> He's talking to me, Beth, not you, Beth. Shut up, small Beth. <laughs> My flask is empty, sorry. Okay, hold on. Let's all choose a door and just go in at the same time. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. All right, everybody roll uh, a d12. Uh, three. Okay. All right, three. You walk into a, a room, the air tastes like lemon, but it smells like lime. What'd you get, Jerry? A uh, five. You walk into a room, all movement is done in dance. As you come in, they're like, Jerry. <laughs> oh, well, okay. All right, what'd you roll? <laughs> Four again. Four, uh, you you walk back into the same room that you went earlier, and they're like, "Where'd what? you go?" <laughs> All right, what'd you roll? Seven. Seven. You walk in, everything seems pretty normal to you in this room. You shut the door behind you, but in the background, in the very back, basis background, you hear this. Oh, I hate it! I got you another door. All right, quick. Five. Five. Uh, you. You walk through and all movement is done in dance. All right. Are we in the same room? Yes. I'm still going backwards. Hey, 12. Well, hello. Um, you back through a room and you come through and you are out of the exit and the whole group is waiting for you. You have no idea if this is the group you started with, but hey, you got out. Wait, what did you roll? <laughs> you should have been paying attention. So everybody, you are now out of the room. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You may not be the same character you were earlier, but you are out of the room now. All right. We're all out of the room? Yep. So. Did you need answer? I figured that when you hear the thing laughing backwards, that everything in that room happens backwards. So if you enter backwards, you're actually entering forward. And going. It's like, oh my God, that was like the smartest thing I've ever heard. Like you say like a lot of smart things, but like that was like, wow. <laughs> like, That's wow. pretty great. Well yeah. done. I'm like so uh -huh. glad you're with this family. Alrighty. I, I you guys see one to... door ahead of you. Um, the old... You also notice that to the left, um, there's a door, but you, hold on. Do you even know what's in your own dungeon? Listen, I, I, I stole this last night, right? It's, very, it's a lot to get. <laughs> you know, Meat Face is getting really antagonizing. Yeah, well, what can you blame we're him? All, He's stuck with all you. We're all processing a lot right now. <laughs> uh, I feel like, you know, maybe Meat Face has some things to Yeah, okay. Too. So there the... is a door in front of you, and there's a door to your left, and you haven't been in either. Left. I'm going to investigate it for traps. Yeah. I stealth. will assist. Nope. I will stealth. Ten for stealth. Ten for stealth. You feel so stealthy right now. Um, <laughs> no, you're fine. You don't know shit. Between the two of us, though, uh, I got a 22. Ain't no traps on this door, brother. Mm. Six stealth. Oh, you're so stealthy right now. You I go through the door. You go through the door. What? Inside, you see a whole bunch of zombies that are carefully... They're carefully pulling what looks to be a ghoul out of a chair from where they tied him up. They're all apologizing profusely as only zombies could. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I didn't know. So, like, who are they pulling into the chair? Or like? They're pulling him out of the chair. It looks like he was tied to the chair and they're getting him oh, up. Oh, can I, like, knock an arrow and, like, fire it at him? Yeah, of course you but can. Go ready? For it. We don't even know if these things are hostile. They're undead. 25. They will die. Already. They technically are already dead. Beat face. And I rush in and I charge and I kill. God, haven't you guys seen Night of the Dead, Living Dead, Dead? 
Yeah, you hit him. Day of the day, dead, world war, dead. Z, Seven. have you not Damn seen it. them? Okay, he does. Right. You're no. all already dead. No, I've only watched zombie world of the Z dead living okay. in the mall. Listen, I don't want to talk about you. Uh, three. You're thinking of mist. Oh, <laughs> spelled with a Y. <laughs> all right, you fire, you see, as the door opens, uh, Tari sees a ghoul that, that is that is not expecting it and dodges an arrow and lets it fly in between all these zombies. It hits him square in the chest. He's like, ow! And the other zombies turn and they're like, what the fuck? I'm what? sorry, I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah, she has right on the money. Summer has serious problems. No, I'm not sorry, all right? The ghoul sorry. screams, the ghoul screams, First, they think I ate their butts, and now I'm getting shot by strangers. I didn't eat any butts. I don't know where your butts are. I don't even know why their uh, butts keep flying back in. We're fine with the butts. That's, someone, that's something a butt muncher would say. Tari. I did not munch the butts. Tari, Sir. you are not helping the situation, Tari. I approach gallantly, and I bow as I do, and Dad, I say- Dad, move or I'm going to shoot you too. Why? I am trying to defuse the situation he here. He is a butt muncher. All right. We saved the butts. The butts are back. What I, are you talking about? I understand that as a ghoul, that is usually would totally be my thing, that I eat butts. We've had a lot of trauma. I cannot risk this. I, I got shot by you. <laughs> Look, I'm, Summer. I'm trying to listen to the affluent man waving his hand. I knocked another arrow. He did it again. Thank you. He did it again. <laughs> Summer, Summer, I looked at your internet search history. Eating butt was on there. I'm gonna okay. Oh, that's, 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 he puts the bow away. <laughs> it's, um, I mean, yeah, that's really funny because it's, it's like, like <laughs> meat face. Like, yeah, he has understanding. I right. just all right. The ghoul. Wow, meat face. That was kind of invasive. The ghoul snaps. I mean, I get that we all read her diary, but Wait. <laughs> you don't touch anyone's internet search history in this house. Oh. Look, she forgot to search incognito. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you say, Jerry, to defuse the situation? Uh, we are the heroes who have saved everyone's butts. The zombies all lift their hands and like... Thank you. Um, yeah, Jerry, you get, you get applauded by zombies. Great job, Dad. We are in a magical world. These are magical people doing magical things. With a butt muncher? We... I'm not gonna have a racial discussion with you right now, okay? <laughs> well, it goes anyway. like, whoa, 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 there are a lot, like, I, I, all right? And the zombie's like, hey, some of my best friends are ghouls. <laughs> exactly. I'm exactly. just saying. Exactly my point. Just because ghouls eat flesh. I mean, I eat brain. So in Are any we case, all not human? Yeah. Undead human? As, well, as. he's undead orc, but that's. As anyway, um. If you would uh, kindly point us to the direction to the uh, exit of this uh, maze, of this uh, uh, dungeon, of this, the, the final room, that's where we're really heading, and we will forget that any of this occurred and move. I'm growing away. impatient, I kill one. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> 11. <laughs> Can I finish off the ghoul? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Roll it. 15. All right, what'd you get? 11. All right, you'll both hit the ghoul. <laughs> Roll damage. Why are you two like this? <laughs> Eight. All right. Nine. <laughs> the ghoul falls dead. An arrow strikes it in the other side of its chest. It's like, my other nipple! And then you smash it over the head with Tamantha. It falls over dead, and the zombies look down, and they look back up at you guys, and they look back uh. up at you, and they're like, you're not gonna judge if we eat him, right? No, yeah. eat him. He was a bum muncher. They all bend down and just start chowing on his body. I, I run. I all right, run. you run. I'm, you run I, to the I, next door. Okay. Dad, just, just just let them do their thing. Do you I know don't... fireball. No. I'm gonna use turn on dead. I have a. Uh... Okay. <laughs> they have to make um. I have a uh, magic missile. Wisdom save. That's, that's like. Okay. Dad. Wisdom save. Please. I'm trying. Give me a second. I'm seeing what they do. I'm seeing if they can even do that. <laughs> well, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> oh, there it goes. For all of them. Oh, shit. What does it do to them? Um, candy, 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 candy. What's, what's their CR? Uh. Uh. 
One fourth. Oh, they probably disintegrate. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they just turn to dust. And it's like they're much they're like, you want peace? <laughs> but they all just turn to dust right in front of you. It's very graphic. It's awful. Oh, that's badass, Beth. I, I pick. I, I I take good, Tamanta good and I make a line. All right. <laughs> Go on, I'm all ears. Snort it up, baby. Yeah. yeah. You just watch, you just watch, you watch Beefface fucking take a line on one of these zombies. He's not done, he's taking another. Yo, one for each nostril. Yo, yo, yo. Here you go. We'll, we'll, we'll just... Gain advantage on your next constitution save, Beefface. Yeah. All right. Wow. This has been the best dungeon experience I've ever had. Even better than watching Glizzle Gus fall in that pit the first time was watching you push her in the second time. All right. So, that leaves, uh, you go to the next room, I'm assuming, because you ran. Yeah. And when you go in. 20. You don't detect any traps, and you bust mm -hmm. in the door, and Tommy Two Butts looks up, and he's like, hey, Herb got his butt back. Uh, yes, uh, Tommy. Yeah, that was my mom. You're welcome. That's right. I, Tara, was Ari's daughter. And as always, the daughter is always here more beautiful than the mother. I don't remember you. No, oh, yeah. Well. Oh, uh, in, in any case. Uh, I'm Tari. Oh, hi, yes, Tari. We, have, uh, we have slain the butt demon. My mother did that. that my, mother, my mother did that. Okay. And um, we, we, are, we are here now kind of looking for the... Uh, the uh, end of this uh, dungeon maze. He points to his right and says, uh, I'm sorry, to his left, and he's like, uh, it's down that way, I guess, uh, but you're going to run to the order of the buttless out there, so just watch yourself. Watch your butt. Watch all your butts. They're good. I mean... I mean, they've already had a taste of your butt. Does this make me more uh, susceptible to butt munching? No. What? No. What? Do they not munch your butts? No. Nobody's eating a butt. Oh, they're just taking them? They're just taking them. What are they doing with them? I, they're not eating them. Well, I, what are they just, doing with them? That's a fucked up thing to think. Why would you I, take them? Look, Tari kept talking about butt munching, and I just thought... It, nobody's whoa, eating whoa, nobody's whoa, butt. Wait, no. No, Beth. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I think... Oh sounds, my god, sounds like I'm so sick no. what, what about hippos? Is anybody eating hippos, like, entirely in the full carcass size? No, but there was the one incident. But we're going left. <laughs> yeah, you should go uh, left. I, I do my thing. All right, um, what do you get? Uh, 13. You know, I should just decide that there are no more traps just to, just to fuck with them. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that, even if it's hilarious. Hey, better what? safe than sorry. All right, All you find a small, well-lit chamber that opens up before you. In the middle of the room are two five-foot square stone tiles that look like the doors of a pit. Well, don't step on them. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I go around. I'm going to toss you over them. What? what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> alley -oop. Uh, Can I try to save him? Sure. Can I, Can I push Summer? <laughs> Can yeah. I try to save myself? Yeah. <laughs> right. Make a post grappling checks the two of you idiots. Oh, okay. Wait, uh, so what am I looking at? So you can choose athletics. You'll roll or acrobatics. acrobatics. Oh, and you're gonna roll uh, athletics to shove him in, or to shove summer in. I get nine. All right. Okay. Yeah, you're probably fucked. <laughs> All right. That's eleven. All right. No wait. No. Fifteen. All right. You get shoved in. All right. And what what would y'all get? Uh, I got 17 to throw. All right. I got 22 dodge. You dodge out of the way as you clearly go to pick him up. Uh, you get you stumble into the room as you kind of kia here with the back. Take that. And you stumble like two steps, and now you're in the room. What? I thought it was a pit. No, there's there's like two stones that look like they might lead to a pit. Uh, before we go out, first person in the room. Another, um, Just I, saying. I cast Mage Hand and the Press Down on the center of that. We're ready. Okay, I'm walking in the room. Nothing seems to happen there. Okay. You push on them and they don't have any give. No, it seems fine. I'll walk so, forward. All right, the three of you are in, the two of you are out. I walk forward. All right, Beth. Oh, that's as soon as you go in, the door slams shut behind you. Bam, I did it again, you idiots. Every oh. single time. The door shuts shut. The two tiles in the middle of the floor fall away, and an ominous digital countdown timer rises up from the hole. At the, start, at the same time, back near the door, 
panel bearing a single button descends from the ceiling. I'm actually getting a timer ready, you assholes. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. I don't know where to look for this thing. Oh my god, we're all gonna die. Maybe you can help me. I can't believe I'm gonna die with my family. Oh my god, oh my god, no. Oh, we're gonna be, we're yeah, gonna be on. that kinda sucks. Right, wait, where's the, where, where's the timer? There if we, we go, got it, all right. If we die. God, I'm gonna die in the nerdiest way possible. At the same time, back near the door, a panel bearing a single button descends from the ceiling. Beneath the button, terrifying red block letters spell out the word rapture. The lights in the room suddenly cut out in an eerie glow emanates brightly from the countdown timer, casting the room in an ominous red light. It counts down from 60 seconds. It started. I press the button. As soon as you press the button, it's, it stops for a moment. And then it starts at 50 seconds and starts counting down. Uh, uh, I look for something else in the room. There's nothing else in the room. There's just a button in the word. Uh, uh, You're all going to die in here. Don't you understand what's happening? Uh, you have to figure out something right now. I, 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 it's at 20 I, seconds. It's 20, 30 seconds can I throw Morty 50. at it? You throw Morty at it. Morty hits the, the button what? and it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Oh, I drink the flying potion. You check for the. You drink the flying potion. I'm flying. All right, you're flying around. There's nothing in the corners. It's 30 seconds. There's 20 seconds left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grab the Morty. What's that? What are you doing? How many buttons are there? There's only one button next to the one that says and Rapture. Design, it says Rapture. Rapture. I get naked. All right, you get naked. Uh, Five seconds left. Uh, oh, I, 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 I take my clothes off. I get naked. I, I huddle into a ball. All right, you roll into a ball. <laughs> All right, it hits 50 seconds. Oh. What? It's 50 seconds. It hit, I yeah, because it, it, every time you push the button, it drops it from 10, from 60 down to 50. When you push oh. the button, it went from 60 to 50 is the max time. Oh. Do you want to push the button again? <laughs> yeah. All right, you push the button again before it hits 50, and now it says 40. It is counting down again. What? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. You you start flying around the roof. You're feeling I'm around, flying, and there, it doesn't naked, feel like there's naked. anything. You're you're both you're both naked. You're I, naked I, as the day you're born. You're flopping. You're jumping around. It doesn't mean anything. I I, I lay my clothes out, clothes out like it looks like a person was there, like the rapture happened. No, 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 nothing. Nothing doesn't do anything. I press the button again. You push the button again. Now it's just 30 seconds, and okay. it's counting down from 30. Dad, uh, stop it. I don't know what to do. There's a button in the room. All right, <laughs> it's, it's going. It's still going. Um. I, I, I cast, uh, 20 seconds left! Uh, Peter, major, come on! I cast Major Armor on myself. Or you cast uh, Major Armor on yourself! There's 15 seconds left! I'm so uh, done with you! I throw both my daggers at you! Alright, throw the daggers! Okay, that's gonna be... I keep pressing the button, furiously. <laughs> you push the button again and again and again! 16 and off! <laughs> Twelve. Right, you feel one knife hit you in the back unless uh, you want to shield no, it. No, because I cast shield, you little no. dick. What the hell are you doing? All right, and as soon as that happens, That's four damage. he mashes the button again and again, That's and it immediately goes to zero. Okay, just calculate your damage and then tell him. Nine damage. The room rumbles, shield, that doesn't have nine. and then <laughs> as as the room rumbles, it stops. All the doors in the room open, and you're free to leave. Look at all of you. Stop being sheep to your pathetic instincts, instincts and think critically for once in your lives. Think about it. I'm not going to kill everyone. I can't do that. It would reduce a host of liabilities for me, since if you die in a dungeon, you die in real life. <laughs> Idiots. Anyway, you move now. You I, know what? I put my clothes back on. I do too. Are we still in the game? What? You're still in the same room, it's just the doors are open now. I'm going to go through one. You want to go through the one yeah. you haven't gone through yet? Yes. All right. Wait. I would like to ask uh, Beth this one. Why her first instinct was to murder me whenever certain. I'm gonna check for doom traps as they're doing this whole thing. Okay, was cool. on the horizon. That's usually what Beth does. Twelve. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's because you kept pushing the button. I thought the button. Was, uh, the, I thought if it kept cutting down, it, it would kill no us. Traps. I thought you you were you were gonna kill you were gonna kill us all. So I was like, the only way I know to stop it. this is to kill you. I'm sorry, but I chose the group over you. And that's what happened. Uh, I think you chose me, fear over everybody. No. No. Point set game match 20. God damn, no, you don't get it. I hate every <laughs> time you say no. point set match game 20. Like, it's, that, that makes no sense. No, it's like, it's, it's. I know how tennis works, Jerry. Are you really going to sit here and ask me how tennis things. works? It's a combination of things. It's a combination of things. That's what makes it true. Shut up, it's Jerry. Next time you say touchdown hole in one, I'm going to stab you. <laughs> it's, those right. are both things that happen in sports. They are sports things. I'm glad we're all... Oh, fuck it. All right, a long <laughs> empty table appears to be the star of some bizarre spectacle in this room. Bright lights shine down on it, and just visible past the table are rows and rows of creatures staring at it with eager anticipation. Once you enter, 
You barely set foot in the room before you're blinded by a bright light and deafened by the sound of a raging river. Or wait, is that applause? It takes you, your eyes a moment to adjust, but you soon find yourself squinting into a magic spotlight hanging over rows of enthusiastic monsters. Their faces are, are masks of delight and relief. A hobgoblin beckons you all to join her in the middle of the room. Um, okay. Uh, I'll I go. Go to her. Yes. She looks, she uh, goes, forward. she goes, Welcome to the finest entertainment, this side of the staircase that led you down into the dungeon, the Spawn Sword Ship Hour. Monsters love commercials, and this show is entirely that. Commercials. The crowd erupts into cheers. I mean, it sounds like a horrible premise for a show, to be honest, but Monster Life is probably pretty bleak, so fuck it. All right. She turns, she pronounces her, she <laughs> announces her name. She's like, my name is Clark. And, um. Hi, Clark. Uh, basically, we, um. We show commercials, and the people that are supposed to be here to run the commercial are here. So I need you guys to just real quick just get up there and do some commercials for some things, okay? Uh, what oh, is, okay. Is you hit the right oh. person hey. as an Adaman. Oh my god, Dad, you got same. fired like months ago. Enough. It's, the experience lives with you beyond the job. Uh, that's right. Uh, One thing I want to make it clear is that if they don't like the commercials, they will all kill you. And oh. if you don't do the commercials, they will all kill you. Well, here, um, try this product. And we'll make the commercial as you try it. And I hand her eye holes. She's like, ooh, what is this? Mm. All right. She opens, opens up the box, and she reaches a handful in. She grabs a big, slimy handful of eye holes. Delicious. No, right in your mouth. You know, Morty, it's delicious. Yeah, it's no, I, yeah, I know eye holes look up. Yeah, you know commercial. too, don't you, Jerry? Yeah. Uh, Took us two hours to get him out of the house. <laughs> anyway, Jerry. so she starts gorging her face. She's like, ooh, ooh these are really good, actually. Ooh. And they before she can finish, you hear the sound of a helicopter somewhere above the dungeon. A, 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 a ladder, a rope ladder descends down, and a man with a megaphone with blue skin pops down. And he's got a big cape. He's got something on. He's like, I, I am eye hole man, and those, you cannot have my. Give me my eye holes. And he starts beating her. He just starts beating the shit out of her. Oh, All God. the monsters are looking on in horror. They can't believe what they're seeing. She's just getting the shit beat out of her. I am. Um, uh... like, it's, it's bad enough that you were all just kind of backing away. None of you want any piece of this. He's just really beating the shit out I, um, of her. I, 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 I start helping him. All right, you can beat the shit out of her, too. Like, yeah, that's his eye holes. Yeah, yeah, it's my, it's my I, eye I, holes. I pull out my sword and I gesture to the crowd. Are you not entertained? Well, what are you selling? <laughs> um, eye holes. I, yeah! <laughs> what are you doing, Jerry? Uh, nothing now. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're, they, they watch as she just gets the shit stomped out of her yeah. over and over. And she's just on the ground like, <laughs> I don't even know it. Boo! Boo! She's some kind of monster who even fucking cares anymore. It's hard to tell. And so, after a while of her getting her shit beat, one of her assistants comes out and is like, well, that's it for the first commercial. Ha 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 ha. Am I still flying? Yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. As you can see, I am flying. And, um. They hand you something as you start talking, realizing that you must be starting the next commercial. Uh huh. A large pill shaped metal object. Crisscrossed with straps of black leather, opens to reveal three smooth suede sausages. Each sausage emits a groaning sound at a slightly different pitch when pressed. All right, here's the sausage sing along, where you press Ooh. the sausages and it goes. Uh, here's uh, and beats. <laughs> beats, beats, <laughs> and beats, beats, and beats, beats, uh, beats, beats. Uh, beats, beats. Uh, so yeah! Crowd's losing their shit. You two can have these for, I'm sure, a great price. Oh, and I hear that it actually won a competition amongst the cosmos with the giant head. As soon as you start talking, they hand you a long curved piece of blown glass with oh, large knobs no. on either end gleams with an inner light. If it is slid down the length of your leg, it initially conjures up a pair of pants that would fit a doll. I put them on. What color are they? Oh, they're purple. Oh, they're tight. They're so tight. Oh my God! You can see they leave nothing to the imagination. Everybody knows what you're working with now. It's it's it's. They're so tight. You you're walking like a penguin. It's just stiff, and your knees are all. And I I start walking. Like these. You can are... hear him squeaking as he's walking. <laughs> like churning through. These are the purple pants of Perry Pimpleton. You could even win an Oscar wearing these. <laughs> Have I struck a chord with you yet? Listen, they're gonna herald somebody else onto the stage after that, right? So 
They scoot you out of the way. And they grab Jerry and they push him to the front. Oh. They hand you a pair of finger thick rubbery antenna. Swing from a rippled sheet of plastic. When you trace your finger on the plastic, a sigil grows, glows brightly, and a material version of that same sigil appears. The material manifestation is made of dense, flavorless foam. Oh, um, well, I hold it out, and um, I say, you know what they say in the, uh, in, in the monster world? Foam is uh, fun. They all look at each other like, oh, yeah, foam is fun. Yeah, yeah. I said that. Yeah. And I, I run my finger across it, and I will also cast uh, Prestidigitation so oh. that the color of the foam is uh, exuberant and, and rainbow -ish. Oh, it is beautiful. It's a fantastic little piece of foam. You know, you waste all your time, but, you know, they're, they're still impressed. They're still impressed. Oh. Even though you're wasting your time with me. I don't know why we do these therapy sessions every fucking month. Oh, my God. We're, we're just, just wasting go. our time. We can well, do this. I wasting. mean, I, I feel, I don't know about you, but I feel closer. Right, right, sure. Okay. Um, they <laughs> seem right. very impressed. Mm -hmm. And on the ground, as she's still getting the shit beat out of her, she's like, uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Who is not gone? You two. All right, Beth. <laughs> a complex metal framework adorns a pair of thick goggles that, when worn, show people's faces with the noses and mouths switched. After you take them off, you feel as though your nose and your mouth have been switched on your own face for five minutes, even though they're not. Okay, I'm going to use thaumaturgy to make my voice three times as louder so everyone can hear me. Okay, what do you say? I don't know about you all lovely people, but I, as a busy mom adventuring, need a little joy in my life because I'm constantly fretted by the constant depression of my children betraying me and dying. Oh. There's a, there's a palpable oh from the crowd. I know, I know. Save it. Save it. With these goggles, you can instantly turn your frown into your nose. That's it. One of them goes, put them on. As soon as that happens, her nose and mouth just swap places. Yeah. It's crazy. It's the craziest thing any of you've ever seen. All this madness you've seen, but this, this is the pinnacle. It doesn't get crazier than that. Your nose is where your mouth's supposed to be. There is no laws in this universe. Yeah. And then you take them back off and they go back to normal. But it doesn't feel that way for five whole minutes. It's like an eternity for you. I hate it. Like, good. <laughs> you talk and it feels like it's coming out of the center of your face. I hate it. <laughs> the, the crowd, thrilled with your... Uh, with your commercials, throw 150 gold pieces onto the stage. Oh. And Jerry, I take all of it. I will murder you. And Jerry. Do it. I dare you. Oh, uh, yeah. You'll I catch you a pair me. of panties. I take all hey. the gold. Hey. All right, Not you bad. take all the gold. What? It's fantasy. We're in a fantasy world. It's fine. Ew. It's all mine. Ew, Dad. That's, that's yeah, because if it was Schmeckles, weird. you'd be ripped from limbo from that. All right, we need to. We're, we're, we are not talking about schmeckles. We have a no schmeckle rule in this house. Because we missed that last schmeckle talk. We don't need to. We, we're not talking I'm about I'm telling that. you, this man is not part of our family. I uh, do not know him. We, 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 who, at your fifth birthday, who gave you the giant giraffe, Morty? It was Meat Face. I never got a giant giraffe! Well, we had to take it away from you because you wouldn't be responsible with it. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Meat Face. It was a thoughtful gift. Yeah, you know, eucalyptus. <laughs> Wait, wait, that's Koala's bucket. All right, there's one more door ahead. So did I not go? Oh, uh... <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, actually, no, there's only four objects. <laughs> cool. They look at you and they're like, you're the looks. Because I'm the daughter. And of course, the daughter is always more attractive than the mother. They point you to the next door and they're like, the end is that way. Oh, wow, okay. Um, I, I go towards the end, um, doing my thing as I do. Uh, Natural 20. Oh! Oh! Nah. Trash. There's nothing. There's no traps. No. Well, now I know that for sure. I'm just. All right, you open up the door. Saying. This room is pretty standard. Not much going on. Oh, except this one thing. There's a round, fleshy monstrosity hovering a few inches from the ground. It's a big son of a bitch, maybe five feet in diameter. Four eye stalks protrude from its glistening hide, oh, and a no. single eye observe you from its slavering maw. Vocab, dog. What? Vocab, because I said slavering. It was good. It was good stuff. Oh. All right, it's just staring at you all. What do you do? Oh. Um. I approach it. Okay. <clears throat> Sir? Show me what you got! I want to know what you got! I charge him an attack. <laughs> all right, go, go ahead. Wow. I make a performance oh God, Wait, hold check. on. Morty, do you still have those sausages? <laughs> yes, do I still have the sausages? You know what, I'll say yeah. <laughs> yeah, I still have the sausages. Let's show him what we got. All right, are you ready? 
21. <laughs> I'm gonna make a performance check. Same. Go for it. This is probably not gonna last two it. Go for it. It's done. Okay, that's a uh, 14. Uh, there we go. Got six. All right, 14 for performance. All right, hold on. Uh, I think this is going very well. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll see. You take a swing at it, and your blade seems to almost go directly through it. And it just stares at you. It's like, what you've got? Show me what you've got. I'm trying, and I'll swing again. All right, you swing right through. It goes right through again. I'm going to need. It says, no, what you've got? Show me what you got. I need performance checks from everybody. Oh. Well, I just said, yeah, you yeah, you got yours. Yeah, I got All mine. Right. Six. Six. <laughs> That's good. Ten. All right. Eleven. All right. Sixteen. All right. Fourteen. All of you are doing a pretty shitty job. What? Except for Jerry, which I can't believe I'm saying, and what? Morty, I can't yes. believe I'm saying. Thank you. I need the two of you to come up with some kind of performance that you give this thing. Okay. Oh, uh, father-son duo. Um, <laughs> we were briefly going to the dimension where they were dancing. We, yes, we yes. were. Um, I'm gonna need a little dance I have for me to do that. You can dance in your seat. I just need a little something. Just a little something. Give me something. All right. Um, just a uh, little. Remind me the sausage sounds. I, I'll do the sausage sounds. You push them. I remember where they are. Okay. Beats. Just remember. Ah. Uh, this uh, is. Ah. Uh, beats. Beats. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, beats. Ah. Uh, beats. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, beats. Beats. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, beats. Call this beats, the beats, sham uh, now. I hope you remember it now. I like what you got. <laughs> and at that. Its eye flashes brilliantly. <laughs> Your cabbage patching was enough to finally take it over the edge. And standing before you, you are now at the end of the dungeon, where you see an enormous green dragon standing before you. And it's in the center of a pit is the body of one handsome looking badass. That'd be me, Rick. If you want to see what happens in that room, then you're going to have to stay tuned to another time or pick it up for yourself. Because unfortunately, that's all the time we have for therapy today because we are done. Hold on. You. Me. Me. Face. What do you want? <laughs> all right, wait, wait, wait. Easy. Easy, Easy. now. Morty. Okay. What do you do? I have to do Morty. it. Morty. He's Morty. not part of this family. No, no, you do not remember. I don't remember you. Remember all right, Morty. wait, wait. Morty, 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 Morty. Morty. Don't you understand? I, I don't. Ah!